I like your jacket. I like your jacket. Um, thank you, I think is the yeah, a good response. I think is what normal people are supposed to say. Let's see. Those are some sexy Prego. guys. These actually smell Prego? pretty good together. Did you say Grazi? Yeah, Grazi? everything I am. Grazi. Oh. <laughs> Prego. Prego is, well, it's supposed to be like Prego. No, but mine, Italian like, for, sets off my reflex. But I would say it like American for fun. I don't eat it. I don't Prego. eat it. I just Prego. smell it. And smelling it makes my ass reflex like, like packed like, up. Is that weird? You gagging, like, girl? That's why there's like a tea bottle. Should be gagging. No, no, no. I, I, I get heart candles. candles. My candles can be heartburn. Keep them out of your mouth. <laughs> you're not supposed to eat no. wax, yes. Samantha. Yeah, I don't Sometimes eat them. there's bad. Like, you store your brains in your them. hair. Yeah. Hey, let's not kink shame, right? That's true. Um, Eating candles gets me off. Who wants to recap? I didn't oh, take God, any notes. <gasps> me neither. Well. It was too subscribe. We were done. Subscribe on your Oh, <laughs> poor Sammy. We needed a. I was like the most sober I've ever been. And I took the zero. Notes. It was intense. I mean, to be real, it that was. That just means you need to be really high this time. A lot happened. You know that. Thanks. <laughs> um, Good enough. The last thing that happened. We had a banana for Stan. Is that. You yeah, were still was invisible. <laughs> But then he appeared and hugged Malarkey, and he sees blue lights on the door that open. Baldrick made friends with four iron golems. No, he's that helping. Yeah. Oh. Freaking kill Baldrick. All right, Just so a little bit. Oh, last yeah, session I got <laughs> uh, started with you guys. Um, Let's change the face. Entering into. Oh my god. <laughs> Room number three. Mm-hmm. Room number three, which we the only room we had completed banana. prior was, was the Rock Bazaar room. Right. Yeah, so we climbed yeah. up and then so you the guys, lava. You guys climbed up the lava wall. There was a lot of shenanigans involved in that. You had to go back and poor Eldora was climbing up with the Python. Um, you rescued him. Uh, you guys got up there and then Malarkey knocked Baldrick off halfway through. You scooped him up with the carpet just in time. Uh, you guys got up to the chamber where there was the sphere and banana um, stepped out onto it. It fell into the lava steam um, and she got it over to the scale eventually, um, but had a hard time getting out. It raised a bridge, you guys walked across it. It summoned a demon, Baylor, or what seemed to be an avatar of Baylor, um, because it was made from the live lava. Um, the very <laughs> same. Not the blessing. <laughs> <laughs> Baylor the Unblessed. Um, and you guys got into the next room where uh, Baldrick waved at the statues. As is tradition. They immediately attacked, and then Malarkey read the podium, was, basically saying, don't wave at anything. First. To be fair, Baldrick still would have waved. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. <laughs> um, shit, copyright principles. Alright, um, <laughs> it was a cover. Um, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, and then you guys uh, battled, while they were killing him, you figured out that he probably needs his helmet. He got it. Um, his death saving throw activated the rune and deactivated with the golems. Um, very dramatic. The Larky was body blocking his body so that he didn't die all the way. Um, so, while you guys were hugging. Our tank. Um, Baldric, I believe Baldric was looking into the corridor to the next chamber, that and, sounds right. and seeing um, the door open up and the blue lights, and Malarkey was looking into the chamber behind you that you just came through, where he saw the avatar of Baylor, Baylor, running down the hallway towards you, and that where we ended the session. Three times. Can you turn the music yeah. down? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is Do you lie? I was gonna finish. It's hard to tell with ambience. I was trying, I was trying to do lines. like a side eye and he didn't know what I was saying. So, that was cool. so cute, Chad. No. So. So cute. <laughs> uh, at this moment. 
Wait, you forgot about the Goonies one. Was that in between? Oh, that was, yes. That was after the Banana for Scale. You solved the Goonies puzzle. Uh, the Goonies puzzle. With the Samwise Gamgee. Oh, yeah. Getting Chunk the Snickers bar. Samwise Gamgee. Baby Ruth, whatever. The Binary. He's a kid from the Goonies. Oh. Duh, it's a baby Ruth, you idiot. All right, so oh, at this I'm moment, so while you were in Brace, there talk. is Baylor the Lava Avatar barreling down the hallway towards you. Um, go to the next puzzle. And now it is on to you guys. How far away is he from us? Further than um, the door, right? Yeah, yeah, he's he's a bit of a dot, but you can like he's definitely see him barreling buried. through the hallway. But like, we run into this other door that's speed. pretty close to us. This uh, other opening. Yeah, you guys are somewhat in the center of the chamber that you're in, but it wasn't too large of a chamber. That's a different thing. How big was the door coming into this one? Was that the narrow hallway? It was the, it was the double door, wasn't it? It was the uh, stone wall that turned and opened to a passageway. Right. Uh, which he's After obviously the collapsing squeezed room. his way through. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use stone shape again to seal that door, too. Okay. Too late for waving. <laughs> so you leave the embrace of malarkey, casting stone shape across the room to seal off the doorway. Um, and okay. while you guys are sort of gathering yourselves, you hear it bump against the door <laughs> as the stone begins to shake again. This isn't gonna hold very long. We should probably go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Blood we're on to the next one. <laughs> I'll lead the way. All right. So you guys get yourselves together, dust yourselves off. Um, the fragments of the iron golems are strewn about the floor. Gears, hammers, pieces of runes. Um, Can I pick up some gears? Do any of the hammers look cool? <laughs> they look like a large on our ass. Okay. Um, and they're made of stone. <laughs> I just want to grab random Not gears. Not comparable to your hammer. But okay. Gears? Yeah, to grab a couple of gears, okay. Yeah. How many gears? We'll find out. We're in a dungeon, and you're just, I'm like telling you, I'm like, we're in a dungeon, gears. and you're gonna I just, just wanna. 1d6 gears. I just wanna like roll, like grab gears on the way up. I'll say you grab some of the smaller to medium sized ones. Yeah, I just wanna. Yeah. Two. We think about a four inch Two radius. Gears. <laughs> Precisely. Yeah. Right. Uh, metric. Sorry, four inches metric. <laughs> four inches metric. <laughs> this guy. Fourteen centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> so Banana grabs a couple gears on the way out, slips them into her bag. They're very heavy, um, well worn, a little bit bent up. Um, you guys um, see the next room. Uh, it's about 15 feet wide. Um, as you're stepping into it, uh, those of you that have sight, Banana, did you light a torch or you pick up the torch you had lit? Oh, I've been carrying it. Alright, so you picked it up after the battle, relit it. <clears throat> you guys are walking into the next chamber, and as you do, um, it's still, it's still temperate inside, it's still pretty warm, um, but not as hot as it was in the further depths. Um, the chamber... It's pretty wide. Um, the ceiling is not too tall, probably about seven feet tall, somewhere around there. Um, and as you walk into it, it, everything is very smoothly carved out. Um, there is a seam running down the middle of the floor in front of you. Uh, and the chamber seems to curve up and to the right as you guys walk through. Does it seem like anything I've seen before? Do you wear like the shape of the room or like, you know what I mean? Like, does it look familiar? No, but it does look unusual compared to a lot of the rooms you've seen where okay. the rubble is sort of strewn so like throughout the halls. Touched, it I is, guess, no, it's more touched. It seems less natural. Um, okay. It seems 
very it's smooth. smooth. Yeah. Like it has the floor is very smooth. The walls are very yeah. smooth. The ceiling. Does it look like the floor might separate if there's seam in the middle? Does it seem that way? <laughs> <laughs> um, it seems very uh, carved out into one piece. It seems very well structured. Okay. Well, what I was saying is, it, is it more of like a, the seam in the middle? Is it more like a, like a, a trench or like a full separation of these two pieces? It's like a trench. Okay. Design element. The flood Feature. could yeah. run down. Possibly. Yeah, Something could go down. Yeah. Yeah. How wide is it? Is it just like a little thing? or? Uh, the seam, so the room is probably about 15 Art feet wide. Pieces. The seam itself is about 3 feet wide. It looks like it might be somewhere maybe about 2 feet deep. Oh, uh, okay. Is there any water in it? Is this like a hallway? Or Can I look in it? It's a chamber. It's a cha- it's, it's a little bit of both. It's a hallway, yeah, I guess. Uh, if we want to get definite about it. Um, it is a hallway that seems to be curving seems. up and to the right. <laughs> can I look in the trench? Yeah. Can we send Yeah, you can climb down into it. I don't like, really want to get into it. I just want to see if there's like water. Uh, yeah, you can all see good except. You look in the trench and it I is. Um, dragon, but like, I can't. Seems unperturbed. Okay. Um, there's nothing that indicates oh. that there's anything running through it. Okay. There's no signs of wear. Okay. You said there's like stuff strewn about the room. <laughs> the chamber? Yeah. No, that was the, the chamber that you were in. Yes. Now you're in a hallway. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I should have been more specific. All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's an uphill grade. It seems to be spiraling upward. Um, Does it seem like it's a track? The seam? Like a minecart? I mean, it's track. hard to tell. It's not worn. Okay. When you investigated it, it seems smooth and yeah. unperturbed. Alright, cool. Um, I'm just having a random thought. Well, let's walk. Minecarts. Should we send something ahead first? No. Or. Just, let's just do it. Like raw? Yeah, raw. Yeah. Maybe we should. Yeah, we'll just send it. Whatever else is up there. Yeah. We're in our marching order, dude. That's why we made we'll it. And we're very low on energy, correct? <laughs> yeah. Like that's I'm just remembering the door yeah, behind we, us. Oh, oh yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yes. we are, we have no really batteries. I batteries. I do just not take <coughs> any damage. I didn't take I'm not, oh, even, I'm not necessarily just talking about damage. And casting cure wounds on myself. I only use two spell slots. Because we slept There's in no way you room. weren't damaged I'll be good. I got like 30 HP. Oh my god, why do you as have you see, up since As you spiders? think about the demon behind you, oh um, you hear another <laughs> at the door, you look back and you see a crack form in the center and you can see yeah, no, magma just, glowing. Yeah, try to really not think yeah, about that. We should that. probably keep moving. Yeah. Straight ahead. Full speed ahead. Alright, so you guys start walking, I'll say, to the right and left of the scene, um, making your way up the spiral chamber. Um, and behind you, when you're about a third of the way up behind you, you hear just a full bone <laughs> and it sounds like a rubble busting. Um, and behind you hear us. footsteps. Yeah. Um, Ra Hazara is, you step forward, um, leading the pack. You feel a little bit of pressure below your feet and click. <laughs> and somewhere far up in the spiraling distance, you hear a That seems to be drawn closer and closer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe we should move from. Oh, we run back down. Yeah. Run. Is there gonna... a way forward? Is the ceiling fucking closing down on us right now? <laughs> I want to kind of get up against the wall. As far as you wall. can tell, nothing's closing in on you. I didn't get, get up, up against, against the wall. Down in us. Just kind of. Because like, I hear that, obviously. Okay. I just want to get against the wall just in case some weird shit comes down. That looks smart, I'm gonna do that too. Weird. Everybody. 
video. At least moving, moving to, to the, the left, to right. the side, yeah. mm -hmm. of, not the, the middle. middle of the room. I'm freaking out, and I am scanning. <laughs> what I is happening? Out. No. Are you gonna roll for something? Roll for a vision check. I don't know. You need a perception check. I guess as we're all running to the wall, now that we're over to the, the wall, on yeah. the noise. Uh, you can roll inside of the noise. You can roll a perception check on the room around. Oh, nat twenty. Uh, Plus, uh, minus one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you're doing a perception check, right? Twenty-three. All right. So as you hear this, it's picking up speed. It sounds to you like it is a large object. It seems to be scraping up against everything that it touches. Um, it's giving a slight rumble to the chamber that seems somewhat lubricated. Um, you look at the walls around you as you're backing up against the wall, and you, s you notice now that there are scrapings on the ceilings, on the walls, from the top to the bottom, and across the floor leading up to the scene. Okay, nowhere is safe. All right, I'm going to get in the trench. <laughs> there are what, though, on right. the ceiling? You can shape rock. I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. I'm assuming the ceiling is all scraped up. The walls are all scraped up, and the so ground is all scraped up. Like a good time. To me. Yes. I think we should get in the trench, guys, because if there's something rolling down, yeah. like a track. Uh-huh. That's is this? Be our oh, I'm so nervous, though. Like, is this my room? And you know might, what I mean? Like, I feel like, am I supposed to be doing something? We don't know yet. Is the trench fine. wide enough to get into? He said two feet wide. Yeah, no, it's about three feet wide. Two feet um, deep. About, sorry, about three feet deep, about two feet wide. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get in it. Yes, you can I think squeeze, we should get in it. You can <laughs> yeah. squeeze into it. Baldrick, yeah. you can yeah. shape stone. I'm a very small dragon. Yeah. If it gets it'll close enough to last Bruno. So if right, it so. comes to it and that thing is gonna crush us in the it's trench, growing closer and closer and closer. Yeah. There are only hope. There's yeah. more trench, right? There's plenty of trench for everybody. Oh, there's just, it's a seam that's going yeah. all the way up the side. So I squeeze yeah. myself into oh that trench. God. Is everyone going into? The is trench? everyone in the trench? Like, do we all fit in the trench? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a so seam long. going all yeah, the way so up the way. Okay, all right. Okay. So, so you guys need to stand up and you definitely you either have to duck or lay down, depending on your height. Yeah. Um, and as you do, it comes rolling around the corner, this giant, what looks like a giant metal rolling pin, just... <laughs> you guys lay down and it rolls over you. <laughs> it goes down to the bottom. Um, you hear the footsteps that are coming. <laughs> The rolling pin comes down. You hear it, but you don't see it. The footsteps stop. Did the rolling pin also um, stop? Then you guys hear. <laughs> from up above. So another one's coming up. All right, cool. Wait, from up above? Yeah. They're Same coming. place the first one came from. Okay, they're coming. All right, so I think we should maybe crawl up as far as we can. Yeah. Well, we yeah. could take breaks and like look and see if we see anything, I mean, we, we like an option room well, or something. Right? But I think we mm -hmm. should probably like stay. we know when it's getting close. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I can use my. And the trench goes. Go ahead. The go trench ahead and make goes a, all the way up. Go ahead and make a perception check on that to see how accurate you are. Nine. That's a 50-50 chance right there. Uh, <laughs> we got this. I feel like I would have the most skills as far as my perception. More of what I am an expert in doing as far as like listening in the dark for something, getting closer, avoiding it. God, it doesn't matter because we all have to get through unless there's a way for us to turn it off. Which I don't That's what I'm saying. So I think we should crawl up the track and then take turns while the ball's still high, like looking. While well, you guys are having this conversation, like head to toe in this trench, Duh. another one rolls right over the top of you. And then at the bottom you hear like Okay, I'm gonna get up and start moving. Yeah, I'm gonna in, follow in, 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 forward. Alright, so you get up out of the trench and you start running up. We're the trench, running up the, the trench, trench continues. We're running up running the trench. Here. Click, 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 click. Yeah. And I'm, I'm gonna run because you up can the keep trench, ducking into the trench until yes. the ball is close and then just lay flat down. Yeah. Alright. 
Yeah, so you that guys, seems like our way up. You yeah. guys stay in this pattern where you're diving down into the trench, getting back out, and running up as these no, no, no. pins roll past you. We're not getting out of the trench. We're running up the trench. Oh, you're crawling up the trench. No, no, because no, we can stand up. Oh, okay. So you guys are running Ball. up the trench and ducking. Yeah. yeah. You guys if it rolls over us, trench. we just roll into the trench. Yeah, it's perfect. And maybe and there's an arm. it'll just flatten us back, back down in there. Oh. Um, to go. You guys, through this pattern of dodging these rolling pin light things, is it, and as you hear things breaking down, they're not going you, back up. They're just piling just up piling at the bottom. Up down at the bottom. Okay, cool. Um, well, thank God. <laughs> you guys get up and run and go. Um, How many balls and, have gone by? Huh? How many balls have gone by? Uh, in the process of getting to the top, um, probably two more of the, these rolling pin-looking things have gone by. Okay. Um, you get up to the top, and the last one goes down, and you hear it <laughs> right before the door. You guys all run through the entrance, and the last one drops. <laughs> um, you find yourselves inside a um, water. <laughs> You guys find yourself in what looks like a pool. What looks Stop like water. What looks like a quarry. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry, not looks like a quarry. Looks like a uh, hallway within a quarry, like a stone quarry. It's supported by wooden beams, and the rock there is much looser. It's covered in dirt, almost a little a bit mine of foliage. Yeah, like a mine shaft. Um, yeah, kind of like a mine shaft, uh, yeah. without carts and tracks. Okay. Um, so that dude's still following us? Like, if we lose him? You can hear noises behind you if things break in. Um, no, no, no. Um, Eldor, Eldor. Eldor has just been following his right, cool. move. Um, okay. And he's stayed between you guys in the marching order. Okay. Our little munchie. <coughs> hasn't had much of a say in it. Our little munchie yeah, robot good. guy is here, right? Is oh, he yeah. Is he chilling with me? No, he's far ahead of you. You cannot see him at this moment. Okay. Um, but Sometimes you chill on my shoulder. As you walk through this hallway where the rocks and walls are kind of loose and crumbly and the dirt and rubble is occasionally falling um, as whatever's behind you is bashing into these sort of large metal rolling pins, um, you can see dirt rocks come loose. Um, so we slow them down for a minute. You walk through this hallway and you Be cut, hot. you see the um, madrum ahead of you, and, and it's there on a piece of, oh, yeah. oh that's right, did you name it Gordy? I named it Gordon. Yeah, yeah you see Gordon no, that's perfect. ahead of you, Gordon. tapping on a piece of wood, and this piece of wood is right behind a podium that you can see, first you see Gordon, you see the podium, and then you see the end of this mine shaft like hallway. Um, and it seems to lead into another room that has a dim light emerging from it. So we should um, probably check out that wooden podium. If he's tapping on it, I mean, yes. You guys walk up to the podium. Again, there's another binary um, riddle there. It's very small. Don't bend over backwards, just delegate. When it comes to teaching, you've been great. Just keep your friends quiet in the corridor. Here, there is no place to wash ashore. Are you taking it back? No, yeah, actually, you can hold on to it. Yeah, um, need that. Uh, that was the longest one yet. Uh, all right, read it again. Don't bend over backwards, just delegate. When it comes to teaching, You've been great. Just keep your friends quiet in the corridor. Here, there's no place to wash ashore. Okay. Keep your friends quiet in the corridor. That seems... That seems pretty straightforward. So all we gotta do is not talk. Uh, and then That's we gonna be difficult. don't bend over backwards. Yeah, just delegate. Just delegate, so that obviously means work together. When it comes to teaching, you've been great. Who is it even talking to? Teach you. This doesn't apply to me. It's a mystery room. Unless.
unless it does, which um, I'm bent also, over backwards. Also, to so remind you guys, um, it's been less than an hour, so pass without a trace is still perfect. Amazing. Just so you know. <coughs> what do you think, Melion? <laughs> I'm going to put my wolf mask on, um, everyone. I'm <laughs> actually feeling a little drained. Um, I know you guys haven't seen this before, and we haven't talked about it, but, um, here, you take this. And she takes her backpack off, and she hands it to Ra. Um, she takes out this small glass jar with a metal bottom, and she's like, I do this from time to time, when I just need to get myself back together. Um, I'm not abandoning you, I just will be much more useful to you if I take this moment. And you see her, like sit down and do some sort of ritual. She's picking up the dirt around her and throwing it there and it seems to start glistening this like green uh, and like ebony sparks coming through as she starts to shrink and her, her skin starts to shrivel. Um, and the shriveling turns into this sort of mushroom form as she becomes this mushroom probably about the size of a fist down to the middle of the forearm. Uh, at the bottom of this metal piece, uh, where the bell jar would go on top. Um, Rob Zara holding the bell jar, places it on top, and it twists Throws into it place, in. and locks into place, <laughs> um, and puts it in Millian's backpack. And she is now in her cocoon phase. And you are now over and covered. <laughs> because you were carrying the um, I don't know Also, as the bell jar was closing, Nymphadora slid in like, <laughs> and sort of her, her watery form her encapsulated the mm. mushroom, um, yeah. keeping this green and black mushroom. Can't let it dry out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Um... <laughs> We're being quiet so in the because corridor. she is still yeah I'm putting my wolf mask on okay and because she's still present um, her spell is still taking effect for the duration which is probably I think it's an hour so what is it maybe 40 more minutes probably okay it's a plus wolf mask is stealth tier. right plus five is stealth yeah it's plus five and pass without a trace is plus ten. So you have a plus 15 bonus to your spells. The rest of you have a plus 10 bonus to your spells. With disadvantage. Well, to be honest, I didn't say shit. I can give it to myself or an ally. Plus 5 to spells. Oh. Okay. Once a day. For an hour. Yes. Yeah. Cool. So are you using it for yourself? Or are you giving it to an ally? I can give it to someone I'm who's... so sneaky. Yeah, who's the least sneaky? Okay, Maybe Baldrick needs it. I'll just I'm grab Baldrick's arm. I got a plus 2 while I'm here. I'll grab this little yeah, armor these man. Mr. Disadvantage. Are cheeky, little jangling <laughs> chainmail boy and give him plus five. Okay. For stealth? Is that what it would be, your stealth? Just, yeah, plus three. Okay. What, what are you, yours? minus? No, I mean, so what this means... Yeah, minus. Plus yeah. one, disadvantage. Plus one. Disadvantage. Plus, so what we determined last time, if you decide to be sneaky or sneak around or hide, you make a stealth check and you add the to that yeah. stealth check. Yeah. So. For sure. It's just an extra precaution because you're super sneaky. You're jangling around over there. Clanking. Clanking. You could use you're a like plus a 15. You could yeah. <laughs> definitely use a plus 15. Yeah. Well, I have a one bare foot. Oh so God. that one's quiet. Yeah. You've got one That's quiet my quiet foot. foot. <laughs> my quiet foot. Yeah, just hop. I'd hop them. <laughs> Um, so we're assuming that we need to go forward in the cavern and not speak. Is there any other Does clues anyone have that we're gonna healing potions? Yes. Really? I have I... something that looks like a healing potion. I'm pretty sure that's um, the truth. I'm pretty afraid of that. <laughs> I don't understand like the Hey Trav, while they're doing this, can I it now? spend one, my one minute and make my hide in plain sight? Yeah. Thing? Yeah, while well, they're doing whatever. You are camouflaged. I'm gonna become the wall. Um, yeah, and Eldora has. You're gonna become the wall. Pretty much. Okay. Um, Eldora also has some bonus too. Yes, still. I have a potion of superior healing. 
I'm at 20 hit points. Oh, just kidding. I don't know okay. if I want to do that. I'm actually, giving they can't move back. Oh, Wait. Okay. Yeah. Are you out of spells? Is it even worth it? No. I'm out of fourth level spells. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. But I am down to, can I roll to make like a, let me see, I think that might like something. Like I'm just doing camouflage in general. Um, do you have a disguise kit? You want to <laughs> roll mine or do you want me to no, make no, these? No, I was just trying to. This is like a, a disguise kit. I yeah. can't justify that. Yeah. This well, is I'm gonna give that to you, Baldrick. I am still. Are you sure that's a see? pretty big version? What else? I don't know. What else is it for? All right. <laughs> like, I don't. You know, like, shit. <clears throat> hey guys, just so you know, if we're moving through non-magical difficult terrain, we're good. How it's magical. Times? We not good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, shall we? I gave Baldrick. Well, I don't know if, if it's superior healing. Can you and Malarkey split that? Is that how that works? Um, no. Or like, okay. Before okay. we go, can I? Yeah, we're not gonna fight. Are you also down hit points? Yes. Yeah, I'm down to thirty. He's down to twenty. So Baldrick better. Yeah. I'm also down. What? How are to you what? Fifty. One hundred and fifty-five. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Before we go, can I use my primeval awareness? Um, I think you can use that whenever you want. You? Yeah, yeah. Well, I have to. I have to use it as an action if we're in combat. But I can do one spell slot to. You want the the kind again? It's within one mile. Um. Yeah. Up to and six miles. Oh yeah. Just, okay. <laughs> Aberrations, Celestials, Dragons, Elementals, Fey, Fiends, and Undead. Um, I healed you for 13. You sense a dragon ahead. Ahead? So roll the one ahead. sense a dragon ahead? Ahead. Do, do I sense two dragons? No. Okay, so... What the fuck? It's your dragon, so... Oh! Oh, I guess and you sense two dragons. Yeah. You do sense two dragons. And another okay, 13. Just making so, 26. Oh, thank you. I was not thinking of that. Alright, I feel fine. Just so you guys know, I sense a dragon ahead. Oh. What, like her dragon? Like, like a different dragon? Like a different dragon. Oh, good. Is it the one we know, or? What? I, know. I just do know what's know happening near me. I don't think. Malarkey man, this dungeon. You're wrong about everything. What's this? Uh, I still have a. It was that other guy we stabbed in the back. John. That's why he made me a dungeon. (laughs) He's a super fan of us. Yeah, he loves us. Ever since Raw threw him off a building. (laughs) If it's a puzzle, stab him in the neck. If it's a battle, stab him in the neck. Yeah, we gotta do. We'll just walk right puzzle, into a dragon's hole. What like, what the fuck? I don't know. I think it's fine. Oh my I god. I think we'll do all right. Okay. Oh. Worst case scenario, we fight a dragon. I used to be a dragon slave, so like it's really fun. They're not. The sounds true. behind you guys, the smashing and bashing. Um, it sounds like. Just magma whipping through metal. What's worse? Maybe well, we can convince him to, to, to fight a dragon. We I'd rather fight a dragon than a demon, just so you guys know. Demons have really high charisma, but so do dragons. Just wondering if we could pin up against each other. He called you an asshole. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yeah. How close Only one way to find out, find, I guess. Do you, do you know how close it is? Um... You can sense the type of creature present within one mile of you. Doesn't reveal the location or the Gotcha. Alright, we should probably keep moving then. Definitely. Quiet. Mm-hmm. Quiet, everybody. Ready? So you guys are sneaking into <coughs> the room ahead of you? Mm-hmm. Alright, yeah. everyone make a stealth check. Okay. Plus two plus ten, right? 
Yeah, 20, so 26. 26. Alright, so Malarkey, 26. 26. Which is what I read. Just as 22. 22. 10 mm-hmm. plus your bonus. 10? 10 from Passive Battle Trace. Roll plus 10. Oh, plus oh just kidding, it's 32 with Passive Battle Trace, yeah. Well, I added the 3. Yeah, yeah. so now add another 10. 10. So no, just 24. like. Thirty-one. Minimum plus fifteen. Yeah. So I, with a disadvantage, am at twenty-five. Oh, doing pretty good over there. Hi, Walden. Lillian is with Ra. Twenty-four. guys slink into the next room. Um, you can hear some of the dirt and stone shuffle and drop behind you and echo into this mostly silent chamber. As you walk in, it's very moist and warm. Um, you look around and it is a somewhat dimly lit room. Um, you see what looks almost like a rainforest habitat in front of you. Um, except for the tiled path that is directly in front of you, with the tiles that you've grown familiar with in this dungeon. Uh, it leads to a courtyard in the center of the room. It looks sturdy and artificial. The perimeter of the courtyard is crowned by pillars. Um, they have statues that look like robed figures on each pillar. Um, They have dragons above their head. Uh, As the pillars progress, the dragons become larger and larger, and inside the mouths of the dragon is a purple flame that's casting a pale light on the room. It's purple again. Um, The ceiling... Transmutation. The ceiling is a tremendous arc of stalactites. Some of them loose, some of them stirred. Um, to the left of the courtyard and the right of the courtyard are shallow pools of silvery water. Um, each of them is contains an island with small amounts of foliage, a few trees and bushes. Um, at the far end of the chamber, straddled by uh, two towering trees, is a set of steps that lead from the courtyard up to an elevated terrace where you see a monstrous pile, a mountainous pile of rocks sitting on a massive treasure. And on top of the mountainous rocks, you see the pale light flickering off an ebony scabbard. And atop the ebony scabbard, you see the hilt of a sword that seems to avoid in the center of the chamber, That's like the sneakiest sword. right near the stairs, you see three of the statues of what appear to be cultists in a circle around something. Did you say a statue of cultists or actual cultists? What appear to be statues, so each of the pillars have statues that appear to be rogue cultists. And all the way down at the end of the courtyard, near the stairs, there appears to be a circle of these statue cultists surrounding something. Can I see what's on that one of the islands? Uh, it looks like it's just trees and foliage. Okay, what's up with the water? You can look like super good. Can I stealthily... Fill up my water spoon. Stealthily? <laughs> you absolutely can. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Alright. Um, yeah, I wanna. 
pull up my water skin with that weird silver First water. things first. Yeah, I would say that you can easily walk over there Somebody's and slowly dip water. it into this shallow, it's just a shallow pool of silvery water. Um, the silvery water seems to be coming, the silvery seems to be coming from the pale light that's being emitted from the magical flame that's in these dragons' mouths. And okay. as you dip it in, there's mild ripples that come out, but with your deft hand, you're able to stave the most of the disruption of the water. And you fill it up to the point where you're sure it's not going to make any noise, about three-fourths. You cork it, and you bring it back out of the water. Okay. Sick. We'll deal with that later. Um... Well, I don't know what to do. I'm whispering in the game. <laughs> but this seems really... really it seems, <laughs> seems like it's a puzzle we need to solve. I'm just kidding. It's like, let's see, it's like it's written or something. So you said there's hooded statues near us right now, and like while we're walking up the path? But then there's another As you walk up the path, then there's it is a circle. courtyard yeah. that is crowned by pillars. Okay. Each pillar has a statue of a hooded cultist on the pillars. Okay. Are any until of the, the pillars last two pillars. About so the last two are missing? The last two pillars have <coughs> dragons on them, but they don't have cultists. Okay. The um, last two are the only pillars with the dragons so. on them? Yeah. They all yes. have hoods. For sure something bad's gonna happen if we touch this. So can can I roll to see what Salvador. kind of dragons the statues are? Oh uh, yeah, you can. Hmm? What do I roll? Um, just an investigation. There's something There's familiar no about them on the shore. You can't tell oh, what. Damn it, damn. The okay. dragon from your bag uh, is really almost ripping its way out of your bag with the size that it's gained. It gets out and just <laughs> stretches out its wings. Um, it crawls over. Your stealth check applies to the dragon just as your initiative. Okay. Um, it slithers over to the pillar and it climbs up to where the dragon is and it inspects it. It looks perturbed, a little bit frightened, and it skitters back around your feet. It's not a stone dragon. That's a dragon. Would that not be a good sign? It doesn't seem like a friendly dragon, not even to dragons. Or one that this dragon wants to be around. What color is your dragon? You don't actually have to whisper, I was just joking that I know. makes it hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> I realized as you guys were whispering. It's rad. <laughs> uh, are you going to examine the dragon statue? Yes, I will. Alright. Um, I mean, you don't need a roll as you go and as you go and as you go and look at it, it becomes very apparent to you as your dragon skitters back to the furthest what? part of your body. Um, as you're looking at the statue, it is almost a carved mirror image of your dragon. It is small, but then as you look along the pillars, you can see it growing in size. Um, as you get towards the back of the chamber, the necks of the dragons are pointed towards the terrace where the treasure and the pile of rocks is sitting with the uh, sword at the top of it. Grappling arrow, get the sword. Um, you look down the chamber and you see the dragons at the end, you see um, the steps leading up look very pristine and covered in the tile, um, and on either side of the steps are these two gigantic trees that seem to be a little bit taller than the pile of rocks that the, uh, Where's our of. little mechanist buddy? He's back at the podium. Gordon. He didn't follow Gordon us. is back at the podium. He did not follow you into the chamber. The gigantic trees are over the <laughs> hallway or whatever. Hmm? The trees, what are they around? So, um, as you're standing 
And now, facing this chamber, you can see... Do you want me to put out a map for you? Yeah. It would help. That doesn't look too nervous. <laughs> hey, I, I prepared a battle map. I mean, a map for you guys. It's just a map. It's a regular map. It's yeah, a regular it's map. map. Yay! I'm the map. 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 Oh, boy. This is the area up here where the rocks and the sword are. These are the two trees. The and the progressively getting larger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need Eldora. And oh, Melian. Is in Melian is a mushroom in the backpack that uh, Ra is carrying for her. So, so she don't die her, otherwise will be Mary will too. I won't die. It's not <laughs> <laughs> so on this map, um, this is foliage, this is all water, these are trees, um, that's the terrace, the stairwell, obviously the statues, the pillars. I would like to carefully and slowly go see what those stone cultist guys are looking at. Standing around? Yeah. There are random trees. Well, at least we didn't accidentally like walk into a dragon's mouth. Can I identify you know what kind of trees there? Um, like, are they naturally occurring? Like, can I see if they're magical or not magical? Like, what's the deal? Why are they growing? They the seem dark? naturally occurring. Okay, is there From any, what you can tell. Is there any light source? Like, if I look up, is there sunlight? Is there a hole in the cave? There's no sunlight. There's no hole in the cave. Um, but they are coniferous trees. And okay. it seems that the pines upon them are pale. As they would be if they did not have sunlight to grow in. Did you get closer? Did you find yeah, it? Yeah, I'm finding on it. Okay. Oh, I thought you. Okay. I didn't know what happened with that. <laughs> I'm working my way over there. All right. Slowly and carefully. All right. Yeah. So you slowly and carefully with your 24 stealth, make your way down through the corridor. The pale light you reflects off your armor. You can, you're taking your small footsteps, it's just like the slightest, slightest reverb of an echo from your male, um, your one male boot that you, or a plate armor boot that <laughs> makes Jane contacts no with the tiles. Just the slightest, that is somewhat masked by the falling of rocks and some of the dripping of water into the silvery pools of water around you from the stalactites above you. Um, Um, I'm gonna sneak up. You make your way up to the cultists, and you see, or what appear to be robed statue cultists. Yeah. Um, and they seem to be standing in the center. Two of them are on their knees, looking down at what appears to be this leather-bound tome in the center, and another one is arms stretched, face up, and it's the only one with real detail on its face, and it has, um would appear to be um, maybe a beard or some sort of like, some sort of streaming thing out of the bottom of its face. It's like making its way down, curved out and over the bottom of its chin. This um, Do I recognize this statue? No. Okay. I'm sneaking Do up. Do I recognize the book? No, uh, as you look at it, it appears to be a leather-bound tome um, of 
no real significance. I'm sneaking up right here. It doesn't have a title on it. Okay. Um, it's just got some symbols etched into it. Nothing that looks familiar. Uh, go ahead. Uh, well, no, you have to roll for this. Uh, there's one symbol that looks familiar. Yeah. Um, it looks like there's some sort of creature's face engraved on the front of the leather. Um, and it appears to have boar's tusks. I'm gonna move right here. So you're gonna slowly sneak towards the yeah, I'd be sneaking. focus as well. <laughs> sneaking right here. Um, I'm actually, so you successfully sneak your way over actually, without making a noise. Can I? Can I climb up on the dragon and sure. like make it like a thing like this? Yeah, sure. So you want to climb up on the dragon and. Perch your this legs over its head so that you're insane. Uh, you become the new malarkey. You're thing. looking down. High ground. You're sitting. What was it 32? All right. Yeah. You climb up and straddle the dragon's head, looking down, seeing all the things that malarkey sees. I was looking. Yeah. Got it. Um. Yeah. I just kind of want high ground. Can I see now that I'm up there? Can I see a little better? Up yeah. here? Is there anything? So, like, there's gold sword in the front, right? Would you like to roll a perception sure. check oh, on yeah. the dragon over there? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So with your perception, with your perception check, you see, you can see that the mound of rocks is very wet. Beneath it is the treasure that's glowing with the wetness that's dripping from the stalactites, and there's golden coins, rubies, gems. You even like underneath one of the rocks slightly, you even see like just kind of the very tip end of diamonds sticking out. Um, and then, again, <laughs> at the, atop the glistening rocks is that scabbard. It catches your eye as the pale light just flickers and the ebony just shines. You can almost see your own reflection in the scabbard of this sword. Um, but oddly enough, no matter how far or close you are to the hilt and small amount of wheel blade of this sword, it avoids all light and it almost avoids, like, Clarity. You can't seem to completely focus on the sword itself in the strange way that it bends light away from it. Black 3.0. Okay. Do I see anything behind that? No. I mean, you see a cave wall, as the rest of the great cave walls that you've seen. It's just tremendous arcing stalactite filled okay. um, walls and ceilings. Can you see things that's not a cantrip, that's a spell, right? When you're like, where's the dragon? <laughs> you can't locate it. I can't locate it. No, I can just, it's just like the I ranger. I know there's a dragon. It's just like ranger like picking up on the scent, like there's something here. Yep. Brimstone. Um, it smells like brimstone. Yeah. I don't know. Unless it's here. Okay, guys, so I don't want to be the first one to make a move because I want to make the wrong. Alright. Um, that seems fair. I'm but I'm ready. Here for y'all are. Ready for what? I want to look no, at these guys. Gonna happen. Yeah, we're going to communicate. Do you want to do an oh, investigation check? I'm going to do like hand signals sure. and then like. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And you okay. just move forward. Get our investigation. Oh, that's zero. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a one, and I have no additions to it. Wait, um, on your stealth? You're very compelled yeah, you to do. chop the heads off these statues. <laughs> but you hold yourself back <laughs> as um, 
you step forward and you examine the statue and you push down on one of the hands, one of the hands breaks this stone and it drops the floor. What in the floor and it makes a crash. And the crash echoes through the chamber and everyone holds their breath <gasps> and tightens up their muscles and looks around. And it seems like nothing is about to happen until the stone pile seems to shift just slightly and some of the treasure spills out from underneath it. Does the diamond Closer spill. to the stairs. The diamond as well spills just a little bit out from the rocks as they shift. And then everything seems to go back to where it was. Like, we're the base corner, of the rocks. so like I don't know what the It's at the base of the rocks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so something moved but nothing happened. It's not awake. Well, you said there was loose Tights. 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 You might impale yourself on things coming out of the ceiling. I don't know what the saying is. (laughs) Okay, so I could shoot something off the ceiling if we needed to. Just saying, sounds fun. Um, (laughs) What are we? Okay, wait, wait, wait. What were we supposed to be doing here? We're supposed to be finding a guy. Like, ultimately, we were sent here. You were not sent here to find a guy. We entered because it seemed cool. No! Yeah. No, you were sent on a mission. You were sent on a mission. We were sent here because it sounded cool. To see what was going on. So, your characters would remember that Carrie the Careless told you that there is only one item. It's a magic item down. that can defeat Bitty. the Ginkit. Yeah. And that you need that magical item to defeat him, and it is somewhere below the cave. Well, no one has successfully that. acquired yeah, this item. Well, maybe it was she had a sword feeling that it was meant just for you. And we're good. Either you just have to get through a the goddamn demon. Yeah, you're sorry. What's yeah, we can switch it. There's no sword for the last There's a dagger this. that dissipated after its use. Oh, the one I got stabbed with? Yeah, it disappeared. Oh, Here's sword? like what I'm like, where I'm at. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so if there is a dragon ahead, we still have to get through a dragon and a demon. So it's like, okay, we do we just super be super sneaky and deal with. How, but I don't know what dealing with a demon is like. I'm what this was, is what, what, beyond what? my capacity. Why don't you grapple the arrow? Speaking of the demon behind you. Um, alright. Why don't you grapple arrow the sword? Can I do a, like a wisdom we gotta figure out check the book. about the book? Yeah. I'll assist. Can I go pick up the book? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and do your wisdom check. Yep. Go ahead and do your assist. Oh, it's that means it's an advantage. It's a, oh, it's, 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 it's an advantage. Wait, what? The assistance is, gives it advantage. I thought it was a D4. Who's giving me an advantage? Me. You are? <laughs> I'm not giving you advantage. Oh, I'm no, no, assisting. No. Assisting. So, yeah, 1D4, I guess. No, no, it's it's advantage for assist. It is? Like, if you're doing yeah. the aid thing. Aid. Taking the assist okay. action. Well, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, the first one was 16. That one was less. For wisdom? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's plus five, so twenty-one. Um, twenty-one. Yeah. Um, as Malarkey picks up the book and the image comes closer to your face, um, you see that it's not just tusks, but it's an actual like, um, in- engraved picture of a head-on picture of the face of a boar with the boar's tusk coming out of it. Um, it's split up. There's a, from the boar's head, it comes split off one uh, line going up and two lines going out to the sides. Um, and just some intricate design work in between those lines that 
doesn't seem significant to you at all. And you're holding that book. Nothing happened after you picked it up? Some dust fell off it onto the floor. Alright. Kind of open it up. You open it up to the first page that seems withered and tattered and appears empty. Your pouch <laughs> and half sticking out of the pouch is like as it like doesn't fully fit in the side pouch you put in the leather straps or hang over the top and you can just see this image of a boar's head just staring out through the chamber window. Can I roll to see if that looks familiar at all yeah. to me? You don't have to roll, it looks familiar. Okay. To just her or to everybody? Like what is it? <laughs> What is it, boss? Looks like the head of a boar. Yeah, but I mean, like, have I seen it before? Or, like, is it. Oh, you want to roll to see if it clicks? Yeah, go ahead and make an insight check. Yeah. Should we all do that, just in case? Can I roll to see sure. if the player. Because I have a plus Remembers. seven and I still got a ten. Huh? For insight? You got a ten? Yeah. yeah, it clicks. It looks a lot like the mask that Wyla. Had on her possession since the mask period. Oh, okay, my wolf mask. Okay. Alright. I can guess. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Wyla. That shit looks like your mask. My mask. You still got me thing? detect lies like that. Yeah, I still got it. <laughs> are you are you gonna go up and join them at the statues? Yes. Okay. So you walk forward to the statues. Yell whispering. Get your man down. Put on the mask. <laughs> Put it on. <laughs> As you approach them, the first, never know I first you see the backs, and you start getting this weird, nervous feeling, this sort of tightness in your chest, and your skin starts to crawl, and you're not exactly sure why at first. Um, you get up towards the party, and as you kind of shoulder your way past, you look down at the statue, so all of a sudden, you go into like an, you lose yourself, you black out for a moment, and you start seeing images from the past, and you hear a voice this old rickety voice and it says this be the place my lady and you see an outstretched hand it's a long bony hand and you see yourself putting three gold coins into it um, you look up at the face and you see this small boat behind this old man just bones protruding in everywhere his skin almost falling off his body he's got a crooked smile and the boat is lapping up on the shore you see the sea out behind you he closes his hand with his smile um, uh, you look, you turn around, you look into a forest, you see Malarkey behind you, you guys both walk into the forest, he follows you, um, as the boat's taking off, you start stirring, your stomach is in knots and something doesn't feel right. Malarkey steps off into the forest behind you to take a piss, as you look out on this small island, a twig <laughs> snaps in the distance. And you swiftly and quietly shrink behind a rock that's in the bushes, in the foliage. You look around for Malarkey, but it's too late. Three hooded figures set upon him, black mist coming out of their hands and feet, pushing it forward. Their faces are a mass of feelers, and their skin is like rubbery and scaly. Malarkey grabs his head in agony and drops to his knees, paralyzed, paralyzed by fear. Your heart and your throat, you want to act, but instead you curl into the rock closer and closer and close your tear beaded eyes. You snap back two out of your flashback and look down at these cultists and recognize them for what they are. There you go, baby. 
got it all figured out. What do we do now? <laughs> I love this book. Looks like your face. Like with the mask on. <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, Malarkey. I don't know if Malarkey. Can you read the book? No, Malarkey might not even recognize these motherfuckers. Um, for you, it's not as obvious as it is for Wyla. You do feel a sense of trauma, and you do feel like you don't really want to look at the statues that much. Every time you look at them, something else is distracting. The glistening of this, the, the sword up on this giant pile of rocks, the silvery water. You always just look away. Um, something's blacked out for you, something's blocked for you. But for Wyla, it's clear as day. She remembers leaving you behind on the island that you came upon before Falkrest. She kind of feels that pang of regret as her inaction didn't allow her to save you as these cultists. And she remembers, she remembers finding you in the caves, um, not knowing that you had washed ashore in Falkrest, your mind mostly broken. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like stuck. I'm shorting out. Uh, 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 I've got uh, a whisper <laughs> from the top of the dragon. Like, what's going on? What are we going to do? Everything is going on. I think I'm supposed to do the, something, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. The slam gets closer, um, and as it does, some rocks and dust fall, and you make an insight check, looking up at the chamber. It's trying to distract your focus off from the painful memories that you're reliving during these cultists. Make an inside check. Oh yeah, I'm like <laughs> still like shaking. That's it. Alright, cool. Thirteen. That's so fun. the rocks fall behind in the chamber. Um, the rocks on the mound in front of you start to shift again. And you feel like you hear breathing. And you see the tree next to the mound reaches up past the top of this mound of Rocks sitting on the treasure. I know, I know. Okay, I gotta do the tree sheet. Do you think a ground lawyer can reach from here? I want. I also have a tree sheet. Just do the tree sheet and get the fucking sword. And grab the sword if I can quietly, but then we have to deal with. Wyla, you were complaining there weren't any trees. <laughs> um, I am going to. Get the diamond. <laughs> <laughs> All right, banana. Okay, so for some reason I feel compelled for extra bravery to put on my mask, and I'm gonna. Okay, what do I? I think to cast tree shape, I have to be touching it. Yeah. So you don't have the spell anymore. I do. I mean, like, it definitely do. It's no. not official. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not official. Psych. So, and I'm just trying to. I wrote it down. I no, I did write it down. No, I have it right here. I'm oh. sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's like, it's in your. It's on your spell oh, sheet. Cool. I, I have it. <laughs> it's instant touch. Uh, I don't know why it says ten feet there. That doesn't make sense. Touch a tree, cause it to your bend, range. twist as you see fit. It's the range for the tree. Ten feet. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. So basically you touch it and then it's at your command. Correct. Any shape, any way. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm I'm gonna ask you it, it to, to kill the dragon. So you touch the tree and cast a tree shape. Yeah, I don't know how to make it be quiet, be quiet, tree. No so groaning. You just put your hands at the tree and you whisper something under your breath. Uh it's me. And <laughs> and they um <laughs> What type of spell is it? Transmutation? Range, touch, duration, instant, uh... Oh, it doesn't say. Transmutation. It doesn't. It is transmutation. It doesn't say it, Um, so... 
I don't have my cheat sheet, a light in the color of transmutation. <laughs> Spirals up the tree. Purple? I purple. do believe. Okay. I think it's purple. Thanks. Purple. It's the same as the... The golems. The golems. Well, and the dragon breath coming out of the dragon. Yeah, uh, so your purple light, thank you, of uh, <laughs> your transmutation spell spirals up the tree. It shakes a little bit, and pines fall to the ground for just a moment. I'm gonna say, <laughs> and I don't think we make sure. I don't think I have to say anything for it to do. Will it? Will it? Will it? Yeah. So what are you willing it to do? I really wanted to get that sword <laughs> very quietly. I feel like the sword is important to our mission. So I'm sorry about the diamond. It's not on the top of my list right now. It's okay. In case you weren't just doing Don't worry. So as you will ball. it, the tree starts bending towards the made of rocks, twisting and turning, needles dropping. The very tip of the tree being this just small finger of a branch wraps around the hilt of the sword and it draws it up slowly out of the scabbard and as the blade is revealed the blade seems to almost like whisper in black smoke the scabbard too and I know. it goes up to the top of the tree and it sits there kind of bending back and forth waving the weight that it imposes on the very tip of this nimble tip of this tree. Damn it. Totally different. I think they that's it. Alright, I'm gonna throw the How long do you how long do you control the tree for? I'm gonna throw the pickaxes of climbing back. It's an instant spell. At my girl. That is the you case. Throw them? Alright. You throw them discreetly. You throw them at Wyla. Giving her no warning. Uh, Wyla, go ahead and make an acrobatics check. I'm sorry. To dodge <laughs> the pickaxes that someone threw at you. I'm sorry. I'm rolling like ass. Uh, oh, it's a 16. Can I yell? Oh, wait, I have lucky. Can I re. I, I don't know how that works. You get to re roll and choose whichever one you want. Advantage. I'm gonna go with that one, which is 23 total. 23 total? Yes, versus 16. Alright, so like three um, yes, the first one you grab in the air, the second one uh, starts going right towards the floor, and you have to run forward a little bit. Um, I'm just trying to be helpful. I'm just climbing on shit, throwing axes. <laughs> you run forward, and right before it hits the ground, you slide your hand underneath it muffling the sounds that hits your palm in your hand, and you give this like sharp stare up to Banana <laughs> as you walk over to the tree. Did you ever figure out how long you can communicate to the tree? It, I it's was instant. looking, and yeah. it, like it's duration. instant, and that's the only so you just thing get one shape in there. Um, okay. The tree starts attacking you. With you can sword. use it to attack something that's about the only other thing. Is it a concentration, like for however many minutes, or? I put everything in this little box that I had. Did you get it all? Yeah, I remember I put the Casting whole thing time, in there. Instant. instant. One action. One action. Duration. Dang. Yeah. Really? Short. Yeah. Man, homebrewed spells, this is what you get. Right? <laughs> I mean, I didn't homebrew it, but. Right. Wait, did I put uh, I just want to double check on your. Slap you, so. Appreciate it. Oh, Casting time, one action, range, touch, components. Wake up. Duration instantaneously you touch a tree, causing it to bend and twist as you see fit. You can use it to block a path, support a structure, or even attack or trap an enemy. You can use the tree to you can use the tree to make a melee spell attack against a creature within ten feet of the tree on a hit, the creature takes two D4 bludgeoning damage or becomes critical. Uh okay. Concentration right. up to a minute. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, uh, well, I guess I need to get the sword. I don't know, the arrow, I gotta like shoot and pen on a weapon, so. Shoot it? 
She won't, I'm not shooting it. I'm going to go get the grapple arrow. Yeah, yeah. Yes. If you use the hooks, you're just going to climb the tree. The hooks just have to deal with the speed at which I can do it. Hooks. I think is all that it is. So I'll just use myself and be like, thanks so much for the, the uh, hooks. <laughs> I almost said pitchforks. Pickaxes. Pickaxes. Pickaxes of climbing, they just make it so you climb at the rate of the you would like normal. Doesn't it make speed. it easier to climb though if you use them? Gives you an advantage on the strength check or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean you just climb That's up, true. You just so climb up the tree and get fall. to the top. Okay. Um, so. You grab the sword and it's <laughs> extremely heavy as the tree releases it. You almost have to use both hands. You start falling from the branches, but you grab yourself, and the sword is humongous. It's like the length of your body. It's this gigantic broad sword, but it's got like an extra weight to it, and almost like unnatural weight to it. And you put it into a hilt in your side, and you can just feel it like bringing you down the tree as you get to the bottom. Um, you walk back across to your friends, um, you pull the sword out of its hilts, showing it to them, and its massive weight is just making your hands shake and your arms tight, and Eldora is watching, and for a second it clicks, and the light goes off in his brain, and he's like, he gets extremely excited, he's like, you guys, you guys, it's, I know I'm here, I know why he left me down here this whole time, I know, I know why he put me here, I know how to unlock the power of the Sword of Goss. Do you have to kill a dragon with it? I mean, if the legends of Koss are true, we could kill anything with it. We, we could kill anything this guy. with any sword. Oh we shit, we get the sword to this guy. Yeah. That's, uh, you That's know how to unlock here. it? Yes, I know how to unlock the powers of the Sword of Goss. We might be in danger between a dragon he, and a balrog in here, like okay, a fucking. Like, I'll be straight with you because we haven't died yet. I don't know who he is, but some version of him left me here. Oh no, the time space continuum is all coming. Where are you? Collapsing. Oh no. Right? And he left me with this, and he pulls out this piece of parchment, and it seems to have a some sort of incantation or spell on it written in Elvish. Haha, I tricked you. I know. This is a good point, Baldrick. I don't know. Uh, if what does it say? If I read it. the power of this sword, then you can defeat anything. I, I think can't this is read the item that you're looking thing. for. I think this is the item that can defeat Kinkin. Insight check. Uh, Insight check. He seems to be telling the truth. Okay, okay. Do you have to say the incantation? I need to say the incantation? Where'd you get that piece of paper? You've been holding that the whole From time? the other version of him. Yeah, it was really weird. He pulled it out of his, like, potato sack loincloth thing. <laughs> probably you don't want to touch it. You probably don't want to smell it. You probably don't want to touch it. Uh, um, so should it, it, the <laughs> other half of Malarkey put this back for 70 together? Years. <laughs> I don't know exactly what kind of fuss this might cause. We should stand back. Who's gonna read this? Huh? That's all I'm saying is who's reading this fucking incantation? I can I'll read, read the incantation. I'm honestly probably the least valuable among us. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. No, I, I'm wearing them. He already he checked I for insight. Believe he it. believes him. I'm keeping my books. You're wearing the, the mask? The, 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 no, but I just realized it's a mask thing. That lets so. you tell so. someone's lying once a right. day. Right, I, okay, just as a, as a double check before this all goes down, Baldrick did point out I am wearing my mask that detects a lie. Go ahead and ask any, him a question. Any of the. <laughs> fuck. That's I hope it, it was when. Okay, um. You gonna fuck are us? Are you fucking lying? <laughs> yeah. I'm not lying. This is the sort of cuss. This is the piece of parchment. And you the think other his other soul do. has good intentions for what's about to happen? Don't know. Only one way to find out. I'm gonna play bitches. it real fast and loose. I don't think that we should let him read it. Like what half, do? half the people here could read that thing. It's true. I can't read it. That's why I said I don't know what might happen to the reader of this, but I feel like he gave it to me to read. Right, I think we should let him read it. <laughs> All right. 
Right, right, he so. gets a massive power up. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna draw. Pissed off. I'm gonna draw my bow. Okay. Me too. Um, I'm staying in my spot. I'm gonna draw my fingers. Straddling dragon right, so. head. Does the scroll go. look he takes, like the scroll? He takes the, the sword up, and he can barely lift the thing, and he kind of drags it a little bit. Hey, be careful with that. Will do, will do. He picks it up with all his might. You see, like, sweat pouring onto, like, his nasty poop tunic. Um, <laughs> he lays it down at the <laughs> bottom like of the... the he lays it down at the bottom of the steps between the two trees, and he pulls out the piece of paper, and his arms are shaking, and he looks extremely nervous, and he starts reciting the incantation, just whispers in Elvish, He doesn't have power on And the scroll starts dissipating in his hands, and the tree to the left of him opens up wide, and... Yeah, there's like a mystical, black, shimmery, uh, um, dazzling sort of void inside the tree. And inside the tree? Inside the tree, to the left of him. The tree opened. And he picks up the sword, and he turns around, and he starts laughing super loud. Dispel and magic. he starts saying, you fools! <laughs> ah, you know how much Kinkin is gonna give me for this? You idiots! I can't believe you even gave me the sword! And he starts <laughs> stepping back towards the portal, and as he does, um, the stone pile shifts behind him, and you see this dragon's head snap him in half, and the sword drops to the ground, clanking across the chasm, and before you, this large set of yellow glowing eyes looks up at you, and this gaping maw opens up, and it releases his body, and it slams to the floor. Um, we're gonna take a break. <laughs> I told you guys we shouldn't trust him. <laughs> you were right. You were absolutely right. I'm like, hell no, we're not letting this guy read the thing that powers up the sword, because well, I don't know what's gonna happen.
we could listen to the mom. <laughs> One day I'll have spell socks again. <laughs> yep. Guys, this day. is bad news bear socks. You down to your last one? Uh, no, I got, I got, I got another five. Bad news bear socks. I like that. I have another fifth level and. It's like uh, this guy uh, came off. So it's like a nice two All right. <laughs> All right. Everyone roll for this shit. Six. That's how we do it, right? Oh, oh. Tell you. Oh. Yep. In utter chaos. For you. Preferably simultaneously. Unnatural twenty. Okay. This Hold on. Also, yes. Hold on. It's our time to celebrate. <laughs> it's our time to celebrate. It's our time to celebrate. See, the dragon's <laughs> away, so now we don't have to worry about the demon coming. That's fine. Fight! Fight! Godzilla versus Mothra. Let's go. 25 to 20. That's you. 21. Oh! Twenty to twenty-five. Twenty. That was the you already did that one already. Oh, twenty to fifteen. Fifteen. Stop eating your drinks. <laughs> uh. Well, I know I'm also fifteen. Oh, you're fifteen as well. Dex modifiers. Probably me. Oh yeah, yours is higher. Oh. Yeah. for hundreds of years and then worry about how much the dude would pay him. Dude, you got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, he's not frying anyway. <laughs> uh, oh, right. So, you guys are face... There's blood dripping down the teeth of this dragon. Its face is down over this sword. Um, and as you look upon it, um, Wyla, you can see that its facial structure is identical to your small dragon. Okay, so it's definitely um, as a long dragon. as the statues. It is covered in stone. You see its yellow eyes with the slits in them gleaming at you as its jaw drips open. Its tongue inside of its mouth, its head, all appears to be made of the stone. Um, you can see behind you the pile is no longer there, but just the treasure underneath that revealed. Um, as it slinks forward, the scabbard falls off of its back, down next to the sword. Um, and... Roth, you are first in the initiative. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Also, the, de the half-dead body of Eldora is sitting there, and the tree to your left is still open with its sparkly... A bit door. Uh, Rock. Is it like? And after Rock is banana. Are we like engaged? Like is it uh, like you're looking at it's us? Cool. You're, yeah, I mean it's looking at you, uh, right at you. It is uh, about twenty feet away from you. Its okay. head, it's down over like the half body of or two halves of Eldora's body, blood dripping out. I meant, I meant music. I, I don't uh -oh. know about attacking this, I mean, I, I don't know how to go about attacking this dragon. Yeah, I don't um, need to remind you about the time for Jesus. Okay. Go for the All head. Right. Yep. Yeah, you did. So, I mean, that's natural. 
I'm gonna run forward, I suppose, and throw my axe at its face. Okay. <laughs> you get to are you it getting just, right up into it. its face, or are you? Yeah, I'm gonna get real close. All right, so you run up full to this <laughs> dragon's face. Um, roll to attack. Double-sided axe in hand, throwing it up over your shoulder. Plus eleven. So what's that? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven to hit. Twenty-seven hit. Uh, yeah. Okay. Gotta yeah. ask. Damn it! What'd you get? This one. Are you raging? Always raging. Sorry, I didn't say I was raging. Okay, that's fine. Let's hold it. Say it next time. Uh. Banana, you're next. So 10 damage, but she... 16. Oh, right. Plus 10. Okay, yeah. 16 damage, yes. Okay. And then you have another attack. Not as good. 16 plus 10, so 26, or... No, no. No, no, 16. That's like a funny attack. Okay. Okay. Shows up on our 19. Nineteen mm-hmm. misses. Um, so you run straight up to this dragon's face, and your axe goes into the stone. You see sparks flying off. Um, it's staring you in the face, and it starts to let out a roar. And the top of his head just falls down as you see like one of the stones peel off, and a little bit of blood squirt out the top of it. And then you come back around with the axe, and as you do, you see its eyes move towards the axe. Um, He's looking at that axe. He goes to catch its blade in its teeth, opening its mouth, and the axe swings right through its mouth. Closes his gaping maw right in front of you as the axe swings out the other side. Uh, anything else? Uh, can I step back? No? It will attack you. Oh, right. You have to disengage. Okay. Alright, nope, nothing else. Alright. Uh, Banana, you're up next, and after that is... Oh wait, hold on. Oh okay, yeah. After that is Wyla. All right, got my longbow from my perch. Yep, perched up on top of the pillar. <laughs> That's the one I wanted. So you, I would say, at this point, you're slightly above the dragon itself, um, looking out of this cavernous room. Um, you can see all the things you saw before: the rooftop, the stalactites, the silvery water around you, the pale white trees. Um, Maw is now closed, but blood is still dripping out, and like little pieces of Eldor's entrails are dripping down. Alright, I rolled to hit twice. 12 and a 19. They both miss. Alright, I'm um, gonna use my. something. From your, tur- from your uh, perch, you draw back <laughs> two arrows, and you seem to hit the points of the scales. They're not very weak. The arrows hit it, but they just bounce off. <laughs> it's armor repelling it. Um, there was nothing wrong with your aim, but this is a type of dragon you've never encountered before, so finding a weakness in its armor has been difficult. Um, as my bonus action, I'm going to... Yeah, after we hit the face. Cast lightning around. Bad dragon. It's concentration, so I'm gonna use it next time. Speak up, I'm sorry, okay. It's a concentration spell, so I'm gonna use it next time. Okay. So that's it for you? Well, okay. Just kidding. Wyla, you're up next, so I don't think that would be Just kidding. Um So it takes 48 lightning damage on a hit, or half as much. On a miss. So it missed. Both heroes missed. Yeah. So it would take half. So it's 2d8. You're casting it now? Yeah. Okay. So roll damage. Alright, 
so um, as the arrow bounces off and heads up towards its wing, the arrow itself explodes in a burst of lightning, and it zaps down, and the lightning finds the only wet spot um, that's, ex that's exposed skin on the dragon where Ra Hazara had hit off the scale with her um, axe, and it hits it right in the flesh. There is a meat underneath this. You see seared, uh, yeah, you see <laughs> seared blood <laughs> turn black as it flies out of the top of its head. Alright, can I see what color dragon is? It's red. No, it's stone. It's blood underneath. Mm -hmm. Gray. Stone dragon. The gray stone, stone dragon. dragon. Okay. Well, I fucking dragon made of stone. So. Yeah. Sorry, it, there's no secrets to reveal here. If that's your okay, I just wanted to look while gotcha. I did it. Yeah, know? yeah. Okay, so this is the concentration, so if I get hit, just remind me to roll. Okay. Um, so the ball of lightning is lingering above its head. Uh, Wyla, you're up, and after Wyla. Oh, no, it's fine. The it's lightning, the lightning is near me. It's part of my range to attack. Shit. What? Oh, you just got a ball of lightning next to you? Yeah. Is it the lightning arrow thing? Most lightning arrow. Do you want to just read the spell really quick? So we <coughs> got imagery for what's going on. Yeah. I would love to. Um, next time you make a ranged weapon attack during the spell's duration, the weapon's ammunition, or the weapon itself, weapon transforms into a bolt of lightning, make the attack roll as normal. The target takes 48 lightning damage on a hit, or half as much on a hit or a miss, instead of the weapon's normal damage. Whether you hit or miss, each creature within 10 feet of the target must make a deck saving throw. The piece of ammunition or weapon returns to its normal form. So I'm just kind of like waiting. It's concentration, so. This turns on. Gotcha. I think fucking bones. Yeah. Uh, it does my regular damage and then lightning shit on top. Alright, you're up. Okay. My turn consists of clarity. Alright. I want to see where's the sword in relation to the dragon and also where is the seam to the alternate dimension. Which tree? Alright, so the tree, when you're facing the dragon, the tree to the left um, is split open in a doorway. Um, the sword is probably seven feet from it, at the, like below the jawline of the dragon, and the scabbard is falling right next to it. Um, they're both kind of at Ra Hazara's feet. Baldrick, think about what you want to do next. Okay. Oh, that's a long time into your turn. I think it's a big ass sword, so someone, I just want. I'm gonna. Yell at, in Rahazar's direction to say to pick up the sword and use the fucking sword. You're like the only one who is like strong enough. And I'm also gonna yell further instruction with my turn. We need to get the sword and get all of us out that door, is what I think. So I'm screaming it. Alright, so you convey that message to everyone. Does your baby boy get a turn? Huh? It doesn't really attack. I think it's too scared. I don't know what it does. Yeah, I can get a turn. Does the demon get a turn? Sword. Wait, what are you? Huh? Um. So right now we're in Wyla's turn. <laughs> I'm just wondering if the dragon gets a turn. The baby dragon. The baby dragon. Yeah, yeah. It's in your same. It's in your same. Uh, you can command it. Sure. Sure. Uh, so you shout it out to the team, is that that's just what you wanted to get done? You shout out, Ra also, to pick up that sword, everybody, we gotta get through that door. Yeah, you either gotta use it or we gotta get that's through that I door. Um, I am going to pull out the carpet of flying, as small it is, as it is, okay. um, just to have it ready. Uh, and I'm gonna ready myself, I don't, yeah, yeah. All right. So you're readying yourself with what do you, you pull out your rapier, if, you got your daggers, you got your bow. What do okay, you, see what you, you mean. Are, are you ready for I'm what? Are you ready? You gonna use a reaction for, for anything? Correct. Got it. Yes. Cool. Yes. Uh, and then, um, ready, 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 ready. so the uh, dragon expands its wings 
and stuff starts blowing around in the ground. Ra, Hazara, you have to like catch yourself as the wind blows upward. Its feet pick up off the ground. Its legs go up behind it, but its head stays level where it's at. Um, it lets out this horrible shriek. Just and you see like purple light emitting from its mouth and it shoots out um, 60 feet out in front of it. Um, Line or cone? Cone. So everybody, everybody except <laughs> you because you are so high up you're above its headline. Oh, so everybody oh, except no you uh, <laughs> needs to make a DC 19 constitution saving throw. Ooh. I don't know why I said the DC. Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm drinking. <laughs> Needs to make a constitution saving throw. That we don't know what it is. Yeah, you gotta make 90. Or make a medium difficulty constitution saving throw. Oh yeah, I made it. Like, where even is? I feel 22 or something? Constitution. What's yours? It's under strength, I thought. 12. Do I have a constitution? You do not. <laughs> but you're, so not. Oh my God, you add your constitution <laughs> saving throw. Wow. Plus whatever that, that number is, it looks bigger. What you got? Like, Constitution uh, saving throw. 20, Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. What you got? Constitution saving throw. Nice. I'm just gonna wait. All right. Um. Baldric. Yep. <laughs> you got blown. Um. <laughs> As the purple light is hitting you, your body starts to seize up. You feel your muscles tighten. All the breath leaves your body as you see your body start turning gray from the floor up. And you put your mouth up for a last gasp as you completely turn to stone. You are petrified. Um, the rest of you uh, uh, can feel... Nope. <laughs> um, <laughs> Your feet start to turn to stone uh, as your movement slows. Um, doo -doo. And that is it for the dragon. Um, Baldrick, it's your turn. Baldrick, it's your turn. I can't do anything. I'm petrified. I know. <laughs> <laughs> What can you do if you've done something that's petrified? Um, greater restoration. Yeah. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. I don't have that. I do, but it's not prepared. Also on the stage. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, um, if you have resistance to all damage. Well, yeah. It's um, on the statue. And you're immune to poison and disease. That's true. Wow, good job. <laughs> I was you're already um, resistant. Uh, okay. So, next up, after Baldrick is uh, so the final crash comes through in the door behind you <laughs> you see metal and stone and dirt exploding everywhere and you behind see us? um the giant ice giant no, the, uh, the Baylor, I don't have Baylor. Um, you see the lava avatar of Baylor burst through on the other side of the door, lets out a scream. Um, it's not done. And he comes walking up, or uh, running up, and gets to the end of the courtyard. Uh, and. Pulls out his whip and he throws it at Wyla. Uh, 17? It hits, but I'm trying to figure out how my evasion works as well, especially since I readied myself. You take half. That's a dexterity. It's a dex saving throw, so yeah. I don't know. You can use uncanny dodge to. When an attacker that you damage. see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to have the attacker. Oh yeah, you react and you yeah you have a reaction. Also, you saved your reaction in case anything happens, so you also have an action. You, you have basically any reaction you want okay. because you saved your turn for reaction. Okay. 
then yeah, like I hope that I was watching that. I mean, I'm gonna uncanny dodge. My AC is 16, by the way, so I don't know. Okay. Yeah. 17. So yeah. yeah. So you're gonna use uncanny dodge? Yes. All right. For uh, half damage. What's annoying though is like that's not something that I would have to like ready. That's just something that I can. Well, well, that's what I'm action. saying. You yeah. can use an action. Yeah, you can use an action. You um, spend your action. You now. could. You could. Um, you could shoot him. Yeah. You can shoot him, or you can. Put you could shoot him, eye. and I think end use on okay. Kenny does. See, that's what I'm like. I don't want to do or something you could do, and not so, dodge. So uh, hide. Oh, I forgot to do the cheat sheet. That's gonna make you all cheat sheets for <laughs> combat. Um, so. Your actions can be attack, cast a spell, uh, dash, disengage, dodge, uh, help someone, hide, ready yourself, search, use a magic item, use an object, or use a special ability. Yeah. Um, so because you ready yourself, you can do any of those. I to. You can you can dash out of you the way. You can use a dodge action. You could run somewhere you really want right, to run exactly. right now. You could dash um, all the way. Hang on, the what does the dodge action well, do? What was the point? I gotta help you, huh? bitches. What is the dodge action? It gives do? so if you take dodge. Can I throw? Um, all uh, attacks on you until your next turn of disadvantage. Until the start of next turn, yeah, attack will make against you as disadvantage. You know I mean? If you see the attacker, okay. then you make a dexterity saving throw with advantage. You lose his benefit if you're incapacitated or if your speed drops his mercy. You can theoretically take the dodge action and make him roll again. You can yeah. also just run literally anywhere you want to. Uh, Great. A room. Away from the danger itself, if okay. you wanted to. Yeah, there really isn't... I'm gonna, I'm gonna move forward here. Okay. Um, so that is out of his range. The whip comes around, and as you read yourself, you see the you hear the whip cracking through the air and see the magma spurting off of it. Your dragon follows you, um, runs over with you, uh, and hides behind your feet as the whip cracks through the air and makes a resounding sound throughout the chasm. <laughs> um, so yeah, maybe you need to roll damage die. Um, next up is Malarkey. <laughs> Some dungeon you got here. After Malarkey, it starts over and goes to Rock. So just to be clear, there's a corpse over here. Yeah. The magic sword. Where'd the corpse go? That is corpse this is the gone. Melion corpse? Yeah, yeah, Melion's okay. the corpse. I think Ra was standing over it. So. Yeah, yeah right. Ra's sitting, it's pretty much the sword's pretty much at her feet and the scabbard as well. Sorry. Yeah, I yelled at Ra to grab the sword <laughs> and the fucking use this I mean I could try whoever's you guys both are strong so I don't know but then you gotta get I'll move over by. here and grab the sword okay and take a swing at them dragon if it's not currently airborne it is currently airborne. It's it currently is airborne? airborne? Oh, shit. It flew up to petrified. Uh, yeah, it's like How far can I jump? I think I have a, a jump of uh, less than five feet. <laughs> yeah, didn't you say all of our feet were turning to cement? Yeah. Uh, it looked like your feet were starting to turn to cement. So, Except for mine, right? Except for yours. So does that affect our movement? Not yet. <laughs> so... Non magical difficult terrain does not slow the groups. Oh, yes, also make the constitution saving throw again. It's not magical it's rocks. 16. Okay. 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 <laughs> so, what are you going to do since you can't take a swing? That was uh, 15 of your movement speed. <laughs> Right? Just walk feet far from Would it be bad for me to just leave? Just wanna be pure. After Malarkey is you, so give. And I give what you wanna do. I think we gotta 
don't know what I can do if it's airborne. Uh, so around you, you've got the two trees. You've got one with an open portal, and you've got. Uh, I'll give the sword to Wyla. So you give it. You're running over and giving the sword to Wyla. Yeah. Okay. This is her room, and that's it. That's it. All right. So you're standing there in front of this portal in front of the tree. Um, you throw the sword to Wyla. Wyla's. Uh, had readied herself for anything, and she sees you come and grabs the sword, and the weight of it in her hand starts bearing down on her again. Um, and the dragon sort of runs up and wraps itself around like her abdomen area, um, forking its head and tongue out at the dragon above. Um, Rafa Zara, you're up, and after you is Banana. So. Guys, should I attack the dragon or the giant? Um. Its head's in the same spot, you said, so I could try swinging my axe at it again. Um, you, your <laughs> axe does have a chain, uh, so you could and you throw your axe. Anything. But I can't use the chain of returning because I already did that. I think it's time to go. No, no, it no, it's just a bonus it's action. Time to get the fuck out of your it's time to go. <laughs> your chain of returning is a uh, bonus a action. Up. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna swing at its head again. All right, so you're wrapping up your chain. In rage. Can you throw it up? Are you doing it twice? I'm like. Yeah, I mean, if I if okay. I mean, roll both then. Right We're using both your attacks. Nice. one roll damage for. Uh, so roll one and then do one at max damage. You roll three and one is max damage. Wait, Only on. one of them hits. No, no. Because brutal critical, the, the four one. Right? So yeah, she rolls three and then one of them is a max, max damage. Gotcha. Then okay. plus 10. And all of that? Yes. So 12 plus whatever else you did, plus 10. Wyla, you were up next, so think about no, what you're doing. No, I'm up next. Oh, sorry, yeah, Nana, you're up you said next. Plus so how much time? That was an 8 and a 3. No, no. Plus 12 is 23. This one? Are those the two that you. 11? 23 plus 11 plus. No, no, no. How do you... I don't know what you did, I just wrote numbers. <laughs> these, that's what I rolled, I put 3 and 8 and 11. Alright, 3, 8, 11? Cool. Hang yeah. on, but... Plus 12. That's what I'm saying, where's the plus? Plus 10. <laughs> we get it. Plus 12, because it was a crit. Yep. So you had a max die. So, uh, so nope, nope, just, just, just overall. I don't overall. understand. 22 plus 10 plus 12, so 32, 42, 50... That's what you rolled. Then you got a 12 because it was a crit, and then plus 10 for your strength modifier. So add all the stuff. swing it around, throw it up, and the first one like wraps up and catches it on the side of the jaw, and you see the stone come off and the bottom of its jaw drop, just the very tip of its jaw drop as the under teeth are exposed, and falls down to the floor in front of you and the stone shatters and a little bit of blood drips out and it darts both its eyeballs back down at you as you swing the chain back around the other way up towards its face and moves out of the way and with its serpentine uh, head tries to grab at your axe again, misses um, as the teeth clench down but like the bottom teeth that are now missing don't catch and it releases. Um, are you using your bonus action to draw back in? Yeah. Okay. Comes back to your hands. Um, banana, and then why Yeah. Um, how do potions work with petrified people? The rocks. Yeah, um, they don't. He's 
kill all the health in the world. It's yeah, just unless you have a, a function of it's incapacitated the, the petrification and thing. Incapacitated creature can't take actions or ready actions. Um, There's a okay. potion to cure. It's immune to poison disease, although poison disease already in its system, suspended, not neutralized. Yeah. Um, Can I pour a potion on his stone body to any effect? Not unless it's the one that cures no. petrification. No. All I have um, is. Well, I life. would say that he's petrified with. I said he was petrified with his mouth open, so you could dump it down his throat and see what happens. It's an invulnerability potion. I don't know. Uh, he's already invulnerable. Yeah, I'm pretty invulnerable. Yeah. Well, I'm resistant to everything already. Okay, That's cool. Invulnerable. I'm That's gonna... Any forms of damage, yeah. so it doesn't specify about potions. It doesn't. Cool. As my action, I'm gonna jump down, grab Baldi, carry him on the booty. Yeah. Show. Y'all already have the book, right? Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20, as close as I can get. I want him close to the door. No <coughs> can you guys get out? Rock boy. Yeah, yeah she's don't... not as big as her character is right there. I don't want to leave my party completely. Okay, so you I jump down, you nice. get yourself right next to the door, and you're holding Baldrick. Is that 15, you said? Well, I jumped down, so it was like That's five. five. It'd be like 20. Okay. I'm going to say you can get 15 because you're carrying a stone person. For sure. So it's definitely going to have your moving speed. But that's what I mean. So I didn't you get, think you get I could within get 10, all the way through. I you, just you run to up, you're sweating, closer. you're carrying Baldrick. He's kind of dragging on the floor and scraping the tile. And you let out a breath as you're 10 feet away from the opening in the tree. Uh, next up is... Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think I can do anything else. Bonus action. Healing Spear won't cure your shit. No. I mean, I'm gonna say that's probably your turn. Jumping down, dra- grabbing a body and dragging it. That's more than just interacting with an object. So. For sure, but Healing Spear is a bonus action. And I was just wanted to gotcha. glance over it to see if it would do anything for his petrification, but I don't think it will. Gotcha. Wyla, you're up. Okay, so uh, I... Read about Bards. The... And after that, Baldrick. <laughs> my Bards ready. Maybe. And then after that is... Malarkey. Uh, with the... Carpet that I ready. I'm gonna drop... I'm gonna get on it. And use some movement speed. And drop the sword off with Rahazara. She can get it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna go make a loop and drop the sword off at Rahazara's feet. Okay. Cause the scabbard's near her. She can get it, hopefully. Um. Get this, I think the movement speed at this point on the carpet so is about 80 because the movement speed increases as the size of the carpet decreases <laughs> and it decreased to a way smaller size when it uh, interacted with What's the magma. What's the weight limit? <laughs> interacted with the magma. It's much lower now. It's a, he has it. It's actually a... Uh, I think it's a... Uh, what was it? 3 foot by 5 foot or 4 foot by 6 foot? 4 by 6 because yes. I remember it being smaller than a 5 by 7 just by 1 inch. I remember four. that in my head. But didn't it just burn up partially? Yeah, it did I think it burned burn up partially. to the smallest. Version. 2 of 4 by 6 was um, the last thing I thought I was told. Fire, right? yeah, no, oh, because it wasn't 5 by 7 because it carried 600 pounds? Or did it carry And then it got reduced. Oh, it carried all of us in the so beginning. And then it was one tier down, and then it went So it was 600, then it was 400, down. now it's 200. So its flying speed is 80 feet, it's 3 by 5 feet, it's carrying capacity is 200 pounds. Um, so I'm going to say anything over 200 pounds is going to have its flying speed. Um, does that make sense? So if you get over right. 200 pounds... I was going to send Baldrick through the portal, but... On the carpet? Well, Bar- yeah, but I want the carpet What's to come weight, back. What's your weight, Baldrick? It was 250, but now that I'm turned to stone, I think it's, it's still increased gonna be, by... I think it's still going to be okay. 250. Okay. About. Uh, well... But, uh, it halves, I'm going to say it halves its flying speed. So if you're on it, how much do you weigh? 
like, like 110 or 105. Yeah, so it's a normal flying speed. If someone else gets on there with you that's more than 100 pounds, then it's going to be 80 feet or 40 feet. And then if someone else gets on, it's going it. to be 20 feet. Okay. If someone else gets on, it's going to be 10 feet. We don't need very many feet. Let's just, just pull that stone boy out of there. Can I use the rest of my turn to somehow put Baldrick through the door? You could pick him up and fly through the door. But I want to come back. Like, I don't want to ditch everyone. I don't think it'll be an issue if we're all right here ready to go. Let these bad boys fight it out. Okay, I just don't know. I just don't know if I can come. I need to be able to come back. Okay, just make a decision. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to at least take Baldrick through the portal. Like, the end. All right. You go into the void. Yeah, your dragon was wrapped around red. So it definitely went with you. Um, Baldrick, no turn. Um, all right, so. You grabbed the sword? I left it at Veronica's feet. She's the only one like, strong enough to use it. I hope she. I'm 6'6. Six, six. Yo. What a short orc. You're going to grab the star? Short orc. Well, I'm just because I'm a half scabbard. Um, alright, so. Stab the grabber. I have a feeling that maybe I'll make it easier to carry. Seems really heavy. Maybe we got magic scabbard. The dragon is bearing down on you, Rafa Zara. Um, it comes at you. Uh, with a bite. Uh, which is um, 22. Is that my armor? Is that my armor? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, with a. With two claws. Which is uh, 26. And 20. That's also uh, armor in the game? Yes. Okay. Yeah. They both hit? Yeah. Um, and Malarkey is swinging its tail at you. And that's for uh, 22. Alright, so it comes down at you, Sam. Both its claws. Um, it's got. Twenty-two piercing damage and thirty-six slashing damage from the claws. Malarkey. damage from the tail that cuts across and whips you in the face um, and then it flies up higher towards the stalactites almost putting its back against the roof um, it goes probably about 20 feet up into the air yeah um, and they learn Comes up behind you, Banana. Um, pulls out his long sword, this magma long sword from the scabbard, and he comes slashing down at you. Uh, eight, uh, 18? Nice. Divide What is it? Fire? 18. To hit? 18 to hit? Oh, 18 to hit, yeah. It hits. Is it fire damage? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm gonna Eight use my them. reaction. Okay. And I'm gonna absorb its elements. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. How much damage was that? Uh. Uh. 
So the slashing damage is... 26. And the fire damage is... Humongous sword that comes crashing down on your shoulder, and you feel it like cutting into your scales on the back. Cool. Um, okay. Um, cool. I'm absor- absorbing the fire damage. Okay. Um, it is Malarkey's turn, and then back to Rob and Zara. Yo, get in the hole. I'm gonna pop off two Eldritch Blasts over the dragon's head. Okay. At the stalactites. Okay. Alright. Uh, roll the hit. Uh, 19. And... 25. 25. Um, so, as it's flying up, you pop off two of those blasts. Um, you hit two of the loose stalactites. They're humongous, and they come piercing down through the dragon's wings, and it goes <laughs> crashing down, and it flattens. Um, its face landing right in front of Ra and Zara, as its bloody chins uh, go skinning across the uh, uh, tile, and you hear it scream out in pain. Um, go ahead and roll. Um, Constitution. Eldritch terror damage. No, uh, you're gonna roll damage. Um, so it's gonna be. Fell. So for the falling, you're gonna roll 2d6, and for the damage, you're gonna roll. Uh, 5d8. 5d8. I didn't realize that. We're not trying to kill this. I killed it. Hold on. You gotta grab the sword. Plus six. Yeah, that that part of your. Twelve. Yeah, you gotta grab the sword and the scabbard and then jump to the hole. Three, two, three. Plus six. six. Twenty-one. So you three. Plus one. I'm not. If you need to like run and grab somebody, you need to. Plus five is twenty-eight. All right, so twenty-eight plus six plus six. Because we'll shoot twenty-eight. Oh, twenty-eight. Because we have the turns. Big ass dragon. Oh god. 3d8? Oh, I thought you said 5d8. Or 5d8, that's what I meant. Yeah. No, yeah, I got two ones. Gotcha. Alright. Alright, so the stone dragon is pushed down. You can see blood coming out of its wings. Um, it is considered. Incapacitated. Oh, sorry. Oh not God, it's considered really grappled, um, <laughs> and like blood is coming out from its wounds. Um, all right, you still have movement and one attack. Um, it's well, I'm trying to decide whether I should stay up close to give her advantage on attack rolls or. If I should just get the fuck out of dodge. It depends on how healthy you feel. Malarkey. Fair enough. Good enough justification for me. I'm out of here. Alright. Into the void. Um, And you have like 10 HP or some shit. I've got 30. I'm okay. That's more than I thought. I mean, that's. He healed me for 30 before we started, so I didn't get get (laughs) down. Well, now payback's a bitch, so. So, Ra, you are up, and Banana, you are next. Should I? Should I? No. It's up to you. Don't give him choices. You should probably grab that sword. Yeah, I got the sword. I'm going to stab that pin down as the. She's got the sword. Oh, and the. I dropped it at her. Because there's another piece of it, too. By my feet. There's a sword and a scabbard. No, you have the other sword. You have, you have the sword. sword. You don't have the scabbard. So I'm gonna grab the scabbard. You can stab it and then grab Maybe the scabbard. Maybe we just need to put the sword oh, fully true. in the scabbard. Yeah. No, I like Maybe that. I like that. I like that. All right, Travis, you ready? Yeah. So I'm gonna take the. So- I have the sword. Apparently, I already have the sword. Wildly gave it. Wildly gave it. She dropped it in front of you, so you pick it up. Okay, and 
and I... The, the dragon's like prone, right? Yep. So I'm gonna run up and I'm gonna fucking chop its head off. You're gonna attack its head? I'm gonna attack its head, yeah. Uh, with the sword? With the sword. Alright. Sure. Um, <laughs> statue for the sword. <laughs> yeah, I don't have it. And I was like, ah, I don't need it. Um, <laughs> They're not gonna actually... You well, I mean, right now it's just, a, it's just a basic broadsword. Um, so I think that's 2d8? 2d8? Broadsword, I think it's 2d6. Can I still do this? Great sword Wait, is a fucking monster. Yes. Is it a great sword? Maybe it is 2d6 then. Why is it just, you read the thing? Huh? I could look it up. You roll an advantage to hit, huh? I thought it was like a magic sword that could like You read the thing to anything. open the door. Right. It was a spell scroll. Well, yeah. right, but the sword is supposed to be special, or we don't know that. It's a lie. Uh, right now it looks very special. It is a long sword if it's the same. Okay. Great sword. So I rolled you in at rolled 20. The you rolled in at 20? Uh-huh. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, um, I'm fucking up. Did you roll twice? No. You could, I did not, you could but roll I two. have to. Aren't you, you making but, two attacks? Don't, isn't that your oh. thing? You get to do two she attacks. She gets two attacks. Yeah. Does yeah. she still get to move afterwards, yeah. though? Okay, that's the big one. Plus 11. Well... What's the... Thank you for reminding me, did it? Is there any extra bonus? So, no, so it's plus 10. Uh, she's definitely going to be proficient with this weapon. Right, I just didn't sword. add the plus 1 for magic, because um, that's what her great sword is. 17 for the second one. Okay. Um, did you look up the sword cross? Yeah. On 5e? Yeah, you uh, see it? No, not all the bonuses. It's not. A, she's not attuned to it. Right. Well, it's it's a plus three long Magic. sword. Plus three long sword. I'm an sword. idiot. Yeah. I just threw this. I'm like, so that's crazy. added to the attack roll. So. So twenty. Well, no, one was a nat twenty. Then. So no, twenty. Yeah. Twenty. No, twenty. And then it's attack damage. The other one was a twenty-three. Damage, just basic. None of the bonuses. The other one was a twenty-three. Nat 20 plus 3, and then unnatural 20. No, nat 20 is just nat 20. It succeeds no matter what. There's so no 23 and 20. Yeah. So they both hit. One is a crit, and the other one is a, just a hit. And what's the damage on that sword? I'm looking up long sword right now. Sorry, I should know this, but... Bad. Sorry, I'm looking up sword in a while. My other... Oh my gosh, my other character... No, my other character has a great... I just think it'll be faster than me grabbing the book and... Thank you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Maybe we'll be. Tika, Tika. I'm doing the same thing right now. Green sword is a plus five. What? 1d8? 1d8 slashing. Thank you. For a basic fucking broadsword. Long sword. A great sword is 2d6 plus three. It's a great sword. I think it's a great sword. That's what I thought. So it's a 2d6 plus three. Did I decapitate this? <laughs> well, oh my god, it's rolling damage. It's but if you make sword. it a great sword, it's 2d6 uh, it's for a great sword. So you add all your bonuses. 2d6 plus 3. Yeah, it's a great sword. Okay, okay. So there's no way it's a lot. Which one do I roll? That's what it says. Which one yeah, I mean, but I. Yeah. Like, I'll it's stop 2D6. reading that for spoilers. Oh, crits on a 19 too. That's nice. So. Max damage is 12. So, right time 4. Plus your bonuses. Yeah. That's roll again. Plus my bonuses. Roll again. Not plus yet. Not okay, yet. but add my bonuses to that. Not yet. Just, Just get your rolls in, and then yeah, we're gonna do the math. I don't know. That's what they. Okay, so you wrote down the first number. Roll all your dice. Yeah. Say so write this nice number nice. down too. So we'll add another six to that. Now add twelve. Add six to this. No, no that's oh, yeah. you add all these numbers together. Yeah. So add yeah. another twelve because it's a max. And then Dude, plus I'm ten. Oh, all no, six, nine. No. Fuck. Four, ten. Seven. Ten. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> it's uh. Twelve. This is plus three. So Plus three. Plus three plus three because she gets plus three on her damage for being a barbarian and then plus three for the for the. Uh, 
Is it being treated as a plus three, or does that need to be a two and four? It's a plus three. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's another 12. So 24 plus 6, 30, 34 for the first hit. So 34 damage on the first hit. And then it's just 2d6. Try add those together. Eight plus twelve. Twenty. Yeah. Not a bad turn. Fifty-four damage. <laughs> Number. Math. Math. So thirty-four and twenty. Fifty-four total. Get the math out of 54 here. Fifty-four total. Fifty-four total for the two hits. Um. So this dragon that's pinned down in front of you. Um, you take the sword, the sword, which is somehow heavier than your double-bladed axe. Um, you raise it up. It's a little bit unwieldy. It's not what you're used to. Um, you come bearing down, and you aim for the neck, and the first hit just hits, like, cleans off the top of the skull, um, kind of cuts down into the neck and gets caught between the stone. Um, you put your foot on it, and you pull it out, and you straddle the top of its head, and you come swinging down between your legs, and you cut into the neck, and it gets halfway in. Um, and it starts bleeding out the neck, and in your barbarian rage, you pull and rip at the horns at the top of its head to loosen its neck, and the blood flows out of the centers, it disconnects from the spine, and you see the spine come up and the ground. Um, <laughs> Teamwork! Huh? Are you doing anything else in your turn? Well, oh, I'm gonna keep the horns. <laughs> drag the, just drag the what you got. Send the head through the door. Use your movement. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Drag what you if want. If I can move, I'd like to. Yes. I, I'm keeping the head with me because I'm going to save those horns. You're uh, you're uh, five the head is ten feet away. Extraordinarily large. There is not a chance you ran through, but you could probably tear off a horn on your way out. All right. On my way out, I'd like to at least keep one horn and make my way through that fucking magic. Trick. All right. So it's it's stone. You. Smack off a piece of stone as you run through the portal into the abyss. Is the dragon dead now that its head's missing, or is it still moving? Um, you're not there. It would appear. It's not. I'm not dead. Oh yeah, that wouldn't appear anything to you. You're yeah. Void and you're petrified. Yeah, I'm yeah. not anywhere. Uh, He's in a better place. <laughs> um, Not no here. <laughs> so I guess banana. <laughs> the last one on deck. Alright. How far away is the diamond? <laughs> uh, it's behind the tree. So running around the tree. I mean, this has moved Just like when Baldi wakes up. It was like over here. It's kind of underneath where the, the severed dragon is. So, I mean, it was sticking out right here. I'd say probably right about there. With all the action, maybe got pushed right about there. Right so, about there. So, 5, action. 10, 15. Jump yeah. around. You can move 30, it's right? 15 feet. I'm gonna mount the sword and the scabbard under it. control. Too I'm gonna it. dash, grab the diamond, and fucking go. Wait, wait. I, yes, you did. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you did. ran into the abyss with the... Yeah, you're gone. And the scabbard. Yeah. You picked up the scab, right? right? Yeah. That was my intention. I just wanted to make sure I actually yeah. went through. You did. Good. <laughs> I don't know. Did you? You got it. Yeah, you got it. Say yes. Is. All right, I'm going to grab the diamond. Um, yeah. Well, maybe like. Into the whatever. void, banana. Maybe like. <laughs> He's like, well, we it. Is there anything else like right next to the diamond that looks like? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. No. I'm going to fist full of treasure and bounce. <laughs> all right, fine. We need 30,000 gold. <laughs> All right, so... Hopefully not now, those bastards. Baldrick is a rock, but I'm going to, like, hold the diamond up in front of his rock. You are in a void. Baldrick has always been a rock right now. No action. Right That's true. No. All right. Well, I have a diamond now. You have... You have a <laughs> Oh, Baldrick. Yeah. I'm not dead, technically. Will you oh, hand me the last beer? Now he's examining box. the stonework forever. <laughs> From we need a cart to like roll Full him around. <laughs> like we need to figure you want it out. Yep. There are. You can, there's potions. Sure. And there's two so stuff. If you want more booze, I can order some online. Just, just take a sip from it. Just. Um, <laughs> you don't need any. You're already ready for that. 
I'm not awake. <laughs> what? I am, I am awake now. <laughs> Fully right. aware of my root canal tooth. Uh oh. Nice. I'm sorry, baby. Ouch. <laughs> Only when I bite. Like, which is bad though, because I grind my teeth. What's your address here? 333 30th Avenue South. Are you doing good, Are you ordering here? I will see if they will deliver. Because if Seth Lemon does, for sure. <laughs> and if not, Drizzly. For sure. Drizzly is the one. Well, if you do it, I'll just bend on you. Does the woman know? Thanks, bro. Bro. I call him bro. I call him bro because he's literally. Alright, bro dare. I was like, I thought you were talking about Jim, and I'm like, hmm, I don't call him bro. <laughs> That'd be weird. Because he's he, literally he's my bro. Not literally our brother. <laughs> I'm like, that would be weird. I'm like, Sam, I just learned something That's about you. What, <laughs> what the fuck? I learned something about I both really of you. I really like Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> Inspirational performances. So, as you guys spill through the portal, one by one. And fall out on the other side of the ground of this other tree. Um, you fall out onto a moist, wet... There is a good word. Um, Bad word. <laughs> moist. <laughs> 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 Let's all say it at the same time. Moist, mad, grassy. There's your title for this. Nice. Dark and cold moist. ground. Moist, moist, moist. Um, compared moist, to the heat that you've been engulfed in, it is... Almost a relief, but almost. still a little cold. Uh, it, almost, but it's pretty cold. It's kind of eerie. At least there are no dragons in here. Um, <laughs> that's probably that's, 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 that's actually what Lyra talks like. You stand up oh, my real voice. and really stand Baldrick up, and uh, you notice that it's night out, and you're in the heavier part of the shroud that you've been seeing. Uh, Hot diggity dog. So, uh, the area is very swampy. Um, I'm gonna put a mask on. About uh, ah. Mm -hmm. uh, you're already wear wearing your mask. mask. Actually, <laughs> I am already. Yeah, you're already wearing, wearing, wearing your boar mask. I'm actually. wearing my wolf mask. So you're wearing your wolf mask. So okay. I just Baldrick, cover your mouth. I want to be like yo. <laughs> yo, bitches, this is shroud. Cover that mouth. I'm gonna pull out the lantern. Do you want the the lantern is on the boat, isn't it? Did you take it with you? I think so. It was in her bag. I would have to right. hit the tapes. I'm pretty sure. You pull out sure. a lantern. If you say it's in your bag, then I'll just go with that. Using? I can't. Okay. Instagram. I can't remember either. The shroud. I like I feel like the Instacart? shroud. That's that's oh. a thing for like. Um, you pull out your lantern, you and everything and takes on a pale green light. light. Oh, if you do um, grizzly. Drizzly. Sorry, drizzly. You see off in the distance. Is the same words. You're right near the shore of somewhere. You're not sure where, but you're right near the shore of somewhere. Hey, and buckaroos. Or Grubhub or And in the distance, on the shore, you can see a very small, single sail boat, kind of laughing in the water, brushing up against the shoreline. It's tied off to like a crappy wooden post. And standing next to it is a fully robed figure with their hood drawn just below their eye line. Um, there's a green lantern uh, that's Brian also Mills. hanging from this dismal. Oh my god, if it's Ryan uh, Reynolds, dude. This dismal robo. Um, it looks like it's in pretty crappy condition, from what you can tell from as far up as you are. And this like man is this just standing there next to the boat. Waiting for us. Dude's been chilling, waiting for someone. And. Um, Alright. Oh, we're not the ones I'm he was waiting for. I'm so. head on over there and be like... He's all alone? So he get out of here. He's all alone. Um, and where like, you're heading is is a good distance from your party. Oh. No, we all go together. Yeah. Sorry, we, babe. We'd be going together. I thought we were all... Who's dragging this gone. guy through the sand? I can. Thanks, dog. I got you. Tie a rope run. <laughs> Yep, no, I tied around my waist. I'm serious. We waist. gotta just drag him. He's don't invincible break, for now. Right? You, you, you <laughs> no, won't. You just you can't take one of my arms off. No. It's not coming back. Oh my God. <laughs> just for me. He's a cute little rock boy. We're good. Okay, I'll tie him to my back. 
How's that? I'm not really not sure dragging. how to cure petrification. Do we need but I'm to use healing word? Sure, I can't do it. No, okay. he's got a potion of form. That's what I said. I said we have potions of form. I'm you not sure if they'll work. Potion, but His mouth is it, open, so it's worth trying. Wouldn't it but be no, rock? we might have to take him somewhere. Yeah, wouldn't um, all his I'm pretty shit sure be rock? everything that it's exposed to anything would be rock. Everything on his person is stuff. So, a there petrified a creature is transformed along with any non-magical object it up. is I'm wearing sorry. or carrying into a solid, magical inanimate objects. substance, usually stone. Its weight, oh, increases by a factor of ten. That's what I was saying. <clears throat> That's right. what he was saying. He was like 500 pounds. A factor of ten, so <laughs> 2,500 2, pounds. You were 2,000. What? Yeah. Why would you be that yeah. much? Because well, he's go. 250 pounds. Uh, and it's ten, ten times, times that? Has okay, down. that doesn't seem... And, that it, seems... and it ceases aging. Mm-hmm. Like a um, young boy. Totally the creature is incapacitated, it can't move or speak, and it is unaware of its surroundings. Mm-hmm. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. The creature automatically fails strength and dexterity saving throws. The creature has resistance to all damage. The creature is immune to poison and disease, although poison and disease, are, if they're already in its system, are suspended, not neutralized. Okay. So... Um, so he doesn't have to wear a mask. I guess we have to leave him here. No. <laughs> like, that's a, what the fuck? We can't leave him here. There's weird hooded figures. <laughs> I'm a cool statue, though. Well, I don't know how we're going to move the entire party to the hooded figure now that I know you're 2,500 fucking pounds. Like, I don't know. Just put them on the carpet. Just roll them down the hill towards the water. <laughs> Let's push them into the water. No, no, I mean, I'm assuming, like, we came out of the hole in the ground, kind of? You came out of a tree. Like, you came out of a tree. A hole in the okay, tree. so I'm assuming the water is down lower. That's usually um, a safe assumption. I mean, you're in a swampy area, and it's kind of off in the distance. Alright, I'm willing um, to help push the fucking statue boy. I don't think I have anything I can help. You guys could use your hemp and rope to sort Tire of create a him. system. And I think uh, at 2,500 pounds... Uh, we need a couple take. snatch blocks, but we what's can make your, it happen. What's your carrying weight? Let's just pause, banana, and use your wood and build like a cart. Two carrying <laughs> weight. Mine look good. Yeah. Uh, how do Yours I know? Yours should be tremendous. Yeah, we could just like line up cool. some blocks. How do I know? Like, I'm long serious. Long. We could, just, yeah. <coughs> how do you calculate carry weights? Yeah, how do I know what it my carrying weight is? Um, well, what you're able to drag, push, and pull is different. So, let's see. Um, because it's way more for drag, push, and pull. It should I'm be on dra- your I'm not sheet. dragging, I'm carrying. Uh, carrying, ca- well. Hmm. I'm going to be carrying him on my back. So you're Boy, to a so you should be dragging him. Um, he will you break your back. Him. What I'm saying is it, it may be more practical to oh, drag, okay. push, or pull uh, because that is significantly larger. So okay. can you have me a player's handbook, Maya, that you usually have over there? I don't have Oh. Do you know where it is? No. Your carrying capacity is your strength score multiplied by 15. This is the weight in pounds that you can carry. Which which one? This? Yeah. yeah it's 390. I just did it. So your Yours. drag, push, and pull should be more than that. Yeah. Okay. So push, this... Pull, double your carrying capacity. Alright. This is saying that... So what was it? 360... 390. 390 times 2. Yep. So about 800. This is saying petrified condition. It said while pushing or dragging weight in excess, your speed drops to five feet. Oh, but that's excess of your carrying capacity. I, I imagine it would be the same. If it's more than double, you probably can't budget. What so is my carrying between capacity? the four of you, you could, <laughs> with a pulley system, drag him along. Can I just... Yeah. Do you think? So this is saying... Um, Petrified creatures qualify as incapacitated. Mm-hmm. Wish Baldrick was here. So it can I heal he can as any other creature. Drop the spell. So what? Speed. Sorry, Maya was saying something. <laughs> so it can <laughs> or heal. Or greater restoration. As any other creature. All oh, right. <laughs> it says See, that. I was thinking if you I mean, could summon a horse a lot, that would drag yes. your body, but. 
don't care if it's a bug, but... It just says, creature qualifies as incapacitated, thus it can heal as any other creature. Yeah, I heal Fed damage. potions yeah, by allies, first aid bandages. It can take potions, right? Yeah, I know it can even, take potions, because one of the only okay. ways to cure that is a potion that cures petrification. Or even a good night's rest. Or a greater restoration. Is what like it says. Greater, rest, a good greater rest. restoration, a potion that cures petrification, or a witch. That's it. A witch? Wish. Oh. Wow. <laughs> A greater restoration, eh? Is there a clerk in your pod? Other than one. Yeah. Can you, like, can't you, like, who can fuck with his mind? Is his mind, like, yeah, it says greater now? restoration. It's also stone. Yeah. I can read his mind, but it's. You're not gonna get much. It's like the two spells we don't have because you don't have yeah. greater restoration and wish. Does Baldrick okay. usually know wish? No, I wish. <laughs> So he does. So do you guys want to pause and build something real quick to carry Baldrick? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Because I can't carry him myself. Yep. So banana, break out that wood, dog. Let's build a pulley. Let's build yeah. a raft to pull this guy on. Um, if we can tip him onto some sort of raft. Sure. Uh, but on wheels, some more of a wagon. Uh, I invent we could pull the, the wheel is invented thank you <laughs> <laughs> look we invented another thing we call it the wheel we're thinking of making the next one round this one's a bit square uh no we could do that and then pull that it's gonna take us a rope. fat second to make this is crazy it's saying restoration and wish and then the acid from a basilisk Stomach. That's how you get one of the potions, yeah. And a cockatrice feathers. But don't they have, have to be that used that? within the last 24 basilisk hours. Basilisk acid? Maybe not Ooh. basilisk acid. No. no oh, we need to go back. That wasn't a basilisk. Okay, guys, just remember <laughs> that we need to collect acid not. from things. Just remember that. Okay, so in the meantime, let's build something to get Baldrick from point A to point B. They have to have All a right, clerk. Alright, I wanna. There's trees around, right? Just get some branches. Uh, it's sparsely. Trees. It's a swamp. It's a very swampy area. It's very moist. Lots of plants. That's not be some bamboo. So, Alright, well. Yeah, lose them in the mud like fucking like Artax. Is there bamboo? Would you like to yeah. make a perception check? Is that what you're trying to do? Yes. And I want to make for some. bamboo. <laughs> Both to make Both a nature for bamboo, check. baby. Probably a nature check. That'd be probably. A good nature request. would also be good. So I got a fifteen for for perception and twenty four for nature. If that helps. But I um, do. So. Want to you... make a fucking thing? I was thinking, kind of like. Similar, like steamroller, kind of like log roll. Oh, I don't know. Like the Egyptian. Kind of situation. Yeah. Because it's downhill, so if I needed to throw logs like over to the front again, like that's a possibility if there's slow moving. It's like make something like a yeah, like like a tank's tracks, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. And then yeah. so inside. With your perception <laughs> check, you start to get a little more awareness of your surroundings. You see that there are sparse, kind of mucky trees, swampy Ew. trees around you. Um, immediately, the tree you came out of um, still has the opening in it, um, mm. and oh, it's I a cut that down. It's a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll look over that one. I part. don't know. It's a deciduous tree. Um, uh-huh. It looks like it's dying, but not dead. Um, a lot of the trees around you look dead and dying. Um, you also notice notice as you look around, you can kind of see the rest of where you are. Um, you are actually in the northern end of Careless K. Yeah. Um, and the shroud and swampy area, and this is that finger that you saw sticking out before that was extremely With the covered in shroud and darkness. Yeah. Um, 
So across from you, not downhill, is this hooded figure next to this crappy row sailboat. Um, and to the left of you is the rest of the cave. Um, you're able to, I mean, you're a master woodworker. You can work with what you've got. There's a lot of dead trees and half dead trees around you. But um, over the course of um, 1v6 hours, you can construct the uh, type of mechanism that you're trying to construct. Four. <laughs> Four! It's going down. While I'm doing this, I want to like think about how I can make him not a rock. Okay. Outside of our keyboard. I want to like pull like from every secret memory that I've ever had in there. Okay. Was anything Every good. Every secret memory. <laughs> DM, had. what are all her secret memories? <laughs> is there anything good? Not all of us have them, banana. <laughs> That's what her secret. Yeah, so while you're working on it, I mean, as far as memory serves, uh, you know there are spells that clerics or religious people can use, or that you could find perhaps in a spell scroll or in a potion that could help restore him, but you know that there's nothing at your party's current disposal. I could we gotta lug him around. Fuck. Well, I would like to, since this is an effective method, I would like to kind of write it down and remember, hopefully quicker next time, how I did this. And okay. Yeah. All right. I want to not become proficient in statue moving necessarily, <laughs> but like, sure. you know, have like some have to. awareness Cause of how to do this again slightly quicker. Now we got to go get like an ultimate fatty. Yeah, and we're down our course. Yeah, I think so we're well, spending four sucks. hours on this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what are, what are you guys doing over these four hours? I'd like to sure. rest. take a rest. Take a breather. What do you want to do during your rest? No, I have still blood in the place. Could you, like, have this here? Fall this fall like salt. Salt. Could you have this here and then you're right here? He's, he's like, died like three times in the last eight hours. Sam, he's not dead. He's actually really sick. I know, but. He can't help us! From my perspective. We are fucked. I can understand, yeah. Uh, what do you want to do over the next hours staring at it? I'm gonna. Any uh, items that you guys want to observe? I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna oh. observe my sword. Sword of cast time. I'm gonna hang out with Ra for sword of cast time and bring my dragon over with me. So I'm gonna learn about the sword. Malarkey. Hmm? You're just reminiscing about Baldrick. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just thinking about Baldrick the whole time. Okay. I'm worrying about him. Uh. Drink whatever cat milk you have left in your bag. All right. Yep. Yeah, so um, you sit down, exasperated. Um, you take your backpack off. Me? No, Malarkey. You take your backpack off, put your palms back. Some of your items kind of like spill out, but you don't really give a damn. Um, yeah, so good. You look around. You see your book that you've been logging things in, you kind of slap it away in spite. You see the book that you found in the cave is blank, you slap it away out of spite, and you just sigh. Mm -hmm. Ra Hazara is very focused on this beautiful piece of machinery that she is drawn out of this cave. As a battle master, she is heavily intrigued by this the mystical sword. Um, He's like, no. She's holding the scabbard and the sword itself. Um, I stuffed a bunch of stuff in there. <laughs> and I'm just going to go without the music because I didn't print out my I lost my book for now. He's okay. I'm so We're in talking about that. times. Um, wow. I did that. 
<laughs> you want me? I don't touch those things. <laughs> Making some tea. Are you <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> Just yeah. I know. I was like looking at Jim. Like, oh, really? <laughs> Take that, rewind it back. <laughs> <laughs> Little John got the beat, and you're good to go. Oh! <laughs> All right, so. For sure, um, got the beat, and you're good to go. For <laughs> sure. And on that note. For sure. For sure. <laughs> Ludicrous. So, got the flow. <laughs> as you're oh. um, <laughs> checking out this sword. Um, wow. This is your sword. And the scabbard, you notice that it is an ancient artifact, and that it is a magical item that requires attunement um, to understand fully the properties of it. Um, the things that are significant to you about it are the strange amount of weight that it has to it, and. Um, the fact that no matter how you hold it or look at it, it cannot catch light. Um, and you're just kind of ruminating over this with Wyla at your side. Yeah, before I went over to help Ra, <laughs> I gave Malarkey a little head ruffle and I said, don't worry, buddy, we'll bring, we'll bring your drinking buddy back. We'll, we'll get him. That's okay. And you see him just smacking his books and just like... <laughs> just repeatedly. Yeah. <laughs> They're a little bit too close to him as you come over and give him a little head ruffle and he smacks his book that he's writing in and he smacks the book that he found. And he just pokes. Take the time you need, but in the morning, solutions. <laughs> all the time you need, except you have a deadline. Except for there's like a weird cloaked guy in a tiny boat and we're not going to be able to put Baldrick on it, so something to think about later. I'll try not to think about that. You're going to do a perception check while you do that? Yeah. Eighteen. Yes. Eighteen. So, you give him a little head ruffle, you see him moving things around. And as you walk away, like, adorning this mask of the boar, you look down at the book that he smacked away, and you notice that the boar that's engraved on the book looks like the boar mask that you're currently wearing. Then I guess I'm going to, that's intriguing, so I'm at least going to pick it up. The boar mask on Oh, okay, baby. You pick it up. And you start walking away. Malarkey looks too despondent to really give a care. Howdy boy. Um, I'm going to open it. I'm going to check it out. Funk's okay. little brother. Um, you open Try it up. It now. To, check it out now. Uh, <laughs> the first page. See the front. Um, it's well worn brown leather with its forehead. You open it up, and the first page says, Dear Wyla. Mm -hmm. and that's it, just right there in the center. If you're reading this, I'm already dead. <laughs> Worst nightmare. <laughs> Worst nightmare of all time. What? I'm reading this, I already sold my soul to the devil. It just says, Dear Wyla? On the first page. page. Okay, well then, I'm going to turn the page. I'm going to walk so, away from <laughs> Ra and the rest of the group. What is okay. freaking me out. What did you open? So you walk away from Ra and the rest the of the group. Book. You're wearing your boarhead's mask and you're staring down at this book. Yes. A boarhead. And um, the next page says, Some milk. Is that hey, Dear, Dear I'm not sure I'm going to make it through my shenanigans this time. I was stuck in that farmer's phylactery for so long I started to lose what was left of my mind. 
I tried to summon Cthulhu in my rituals, and during my rituals, this small creature appeared. Funny little mechanical guy. Came through a portal and beckoned me through. I found myself in the plane of Mechanus. It's wild, too much to describe. The deity told me that the future was unbalanced and sent me on a task to make things right. He showed me things that have happened and things that have yet to come. He sent me back 500 years to put things in place that would bring order back to this world. The safety of this sword landing in your hands was one of those things. Apparently this little machine guy can turn into a necklace, which I plan on giving my daughter for safekeeping. Uh, oh yeah, I sired a, a Sahuigan child on my adventures. <clears throat> her name is Carrie, and hopefully she will carry you here. I believe when I'm done with my tasks, I'll probably be killed or sent back to the phylactery to keep order or whatever. I don't mind, I guess. Cthulhu will be uh, collecting his debt now. I've kept a log of my adventures and visions of the future in this tone. I hope it helps you all along the way. I hope you know I don't blame you for what happened to me on that island years ago. Just avenge those bastards, okay? Oh, and uh, give Baldrick one last wait for me. Malarkey. The worst. That's the <laughs> worst thing I've ever found uh, in my whole life. You're gonna make right. And right. you have this, uh, <laughs> no! have the special properties of this book. Sorry, it printed really small. Uh, Can you read it? Cause... It's Malarkey's Boar Tome. This book holds glimpses of the future transcribed by the half soul of Malarkey Aster, once per long rest. If you spend half a long rest wearing the boar's mask and reading this tome, when you finish the rest, roll 2d20s and record the numbers rolled. You can replace any attack roll, saving throw, or ability check made by you or a creature that you can see with one of these uh, four color rules. You must choose. She's, she's like one step away from Ash. <laughs> you must choose to do points. so. <laughs> you must choose to do so before you roll, and you can replace a roll in this way only once per turn. Each foretelling roll can be used only once. Once you finish a long rest, you lose any unused foretelling rolls. So you now have the ability with this book and the Boar's Mask combined to do portent rolls. Basically what Jake was doing with his wizard. When you have two <laughs> d20s, you roll them, you write them down, and you can replace them. So if you spend a long rest... With those. Yeah, if I guess spend, I got that in his luck confused, if you, I guess. So, and now you have luck too, so yeah. you basically... It's yeah. an excellent... Yeah. Uh, ah! So luck you can I'm do... I'm just kidding, no, you're not... Yeah. <laughs> no, it's funny. But luck, Don't worry, luck you can do any of your rolls and then decide to use luck and then pick whichever one you want to use. Oh, I just... With the, so with that roll one, like you shit. can oh replace here's, somebody else's roll. Here's the deal. In the table. No, yeah, can yeah. we go back in time as... No, somebody already did that. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> not you, the other you. Uh... So, <laughs> so basically, if you spend four hours or half of a long rest studying this tone, you get during that time, mm -hmm. like is it, okay, I'm going to study my tone during this long rest. Got Sorry, it. half the long rest. Whatever. I'm well, gonna it's good. So you're going to roll 2d20s, so say so you get six mm -hmm. and five. Right. You write those numbers down. Okay. And then the start of the day, you can use yeah. that. No, you just write those numbers down after you study the tone. Yeah, at the end of the rest. Okay, yeah. Um, then you can replace any, and this means anyone, anyone you can see, yourselves, anyone else's enemies, friends, <laughs> any attack roll, saving throw, or ability check made by you or a creature that you can see. Um, okay. If you don't use them go. by the end of the next long rest, they disappear. Yeah, okay. Um, and then you can re-roll them again. Fuck yeah. But this say. applies to anyone that is wearing and is attuned to the boar's mask and reads the tone for a long rest. So if you wanted to give that ability to someone else, you'd give them the boar mask. Mm -hmm. They'd have to attune to it. Um, well, that is what you're attuned to. You're attuned to your mask. You are attuned to an item you were asking earlier. Um, so they would attune to your mask uh, and then read during the long rest for half the long rest. Okay. And they would get that ability too. That's your magical item. Fucking bittersweet <laughs> hell yeah good one um, hell is he 
you gonna like implode, explode, or like what? Yeah. You don't know what's happening. I guess I could just give you this page because most of what's on it is already gone anyways. And that way you have the, the journal entry and it ends the magical. Nice. So I don't need it anymore. Cool. There's all the stuff in the back. The it's more wrote. of it's the journal entry plus the abilities of it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, it's sick. Um. You wrote that yourself. Heartfelt. Is my log roller done? Your log roller is done. <laughs> <laughs> Your pissing around is done. Your reading of the book is done. I'm gonna roll ball drift all the way to that fucking weird dude with the boat. And then I'm gonna be like... By yourself? Well, I mean, I have oh, they're coming. We're and supposed to fucking... I'm off crying somewhere, fucking He's raw crying as a somewhere dude. Kind you gotta get her attention. <laughs> okay. Yeah, shit's going down. Yo, bitches, I'm rolling Baldrick down the hill. It's happening. Have fun with that. Wow. <laughs> or what? <laughs> to why? To get to the boat, dude. All right. And then... <laughs> That's your end goal. Yeah, come on. And then I want to talk to the boat, man. Boat man. Are you guys boat going with? Come to you. Yes, you. we will go or with you. I They're guess. Apprehensively coming. But I have Stone Man. And I can't really carry him around. Stone so Man, Boat Man. I can roll him to a place. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm doing. Alright, so <laughs> you're rolling him down towards the fairy dude. And, uh... I'm going to be like, hey, can you... You, uh oh, costume. Yeah, um, yes. <laughs> huh? You don't know like, what's what? happening, but I love this. You're gonna be like, what? I'm gonna be like, hey. How are ya? And he says, <laughs> Welcome. You're not who I was expecting. Okay, cool. I'm gonna be like, well, I'm banana. You probably like her to me, but I. Trying to get my friend, it's like a rock, and like my other friends, like to a different place. <laughs> Where does your boat go? Where are you going? What are you doing? For many years, I've been ferrying people from Careless Cave to Thieves Bay. Oh, perfect. That's where we're trying to go. Thieves Bay. Yes been waiting for a man named Eldora. He said he would meet me here. It appears. Oh, He's yeah. a little bitch. You have used his exit strategy. Yeah, dude. He touched, like, this magic sword and then he was like, I can't handle it. And then he died. But he was A dragon might have helped. Yeah, there was a dragon, too, but, like... He cuts you short. Well, it's none of my business. Yeah. One but man's coin him. is as good as another. I can fare you for the coin I've been paid. Mm -hmm. He was a bit of a fool. He overpaid me, so I'm happy to accommodate. Perfect. How long have you been waiting? I've said all I need to say. <laughs> what? Fuck <laughs> you, man. <laughs> Alright. Mm, about 700 years. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks, oh, dude. Long. <laughs> <laughs> that, that idiot well, paid me double. Um, <laughs> do you mind just waiting while I roll my man? <laughs> I gotta roll my friend somewhere. Onto the boat. What's your question? Whatever your relationship to the statue is, is none of my business, but I fear it will not fit on my boat. Mm, I don't like that. That's what I fear too. It's <laughs> small, he's a dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> he just happens to wait. Yeah, it's a granite statue. Of a it's Bow. just a small granite <laughs> statue. He might weigh a ton, but he is small, so he should fit on the boat. Um. Is there anything we can do to make him fit? Do advance. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. Don't advance. Make a little love. It seems uh, <laughs> he's beyond the capacity of carrying. Mm -hmm. Do you need me to enhance your boat? 
so that you want to stay here and work together. <laughs> get this going. Well, we just build our own boat. That's right. <laughs> right, this guy. <laughs> you don't know magic or any kind of shit, like. Come on, man. You look magic as shit. Yeah. What's here? <laughs> like, you're like, you don't got any magic going on. You look magic as shit. You're not shit. serious, I can move along. We're very serious. We're move so along after waiting serious, 500 years. Though, like, you've been waiting. We've been waiting. It appears you may be waiting for someone else. No, dude. No. Oh, no. We'll build a boat right. before we're fucking waiting for someone else. He starts pushing his boat back out into the swampy marsh. And I run towards him, screaming. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't have much of a reaction. for intimidation. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> like some Donnie fucking ordinary hop. shit. He just puts one rickety leg up onto the boat, and the next one gets back on the boat, sits upon it, grabs an oar, brings it back, starts Can I grab the, the oar? You sure can. can you just stop him for a minute? Just be like, dude. You feel a stiffness between mm. his pull and your grab, but mm-hmm. He's that uh, strong. it stops for a moment. I'm going to yell and be like, what's your name? Um, and what were you going to say? Just be like, we need to go. We need your help right now. If you need my help, don't waste any more of my time. I'm going to yell, what's your name? I wish to have no name and no face, and it is part of the cost. Yo, Batman. We need your boat. Come here, you took it. <laughs> if you need my boat and my guidance, then you leave the statue behind, and we find a way to remove it. It's not my problem. Do you know any spells that could maybe turn him back into a person? I can help you. Petrified, you may be able to take him to someone who knows how to deal with it. You not. don't know how to unpetrify anyone? Because <laughs> I can inspire you. Again, if you're serious, I'll wait for you. But if I you know, am. We are serious, so please wait for us and we'll go to who? Who can unpetrify him? Who do we go to? Any choir. You must find someone religious or the right kind of spirit. And you don't know anybody in the area? <laughs> I'm just a fairy. Right. <laughs> you like talk to the guy who you mean you're lets fair? the dead cross the river Styx. <laughs> so you're like, does he know any doctors? <laughs> Alright, so we're serious, so if you can wait for us, that would be great. Well, considering the coin that Eldora paid me foolishly, mm-hmm. I have the time. Yeah, you sure fucking do. <laughs> so... <laughs> No. We will <laughs> find a way to unpetrify this dude so we can get on your boat. I'll stay here for two days. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So we still gotta figure out though how to. <laughs> so we're gonna spend a week dragging you all the way back. Yeah, to the so you're like, what the <laughs> fuck? Oh, well, I mean, do. she built a contraption where you guys. But I mean, at least the boat's long. gonna wait two fucking days. No, that's like better than it leaving right now. Yeah, I agree. So. You guys just leave me there, I'll guard the boat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, the black ones, these are so crunchy. Yeah. Dude, they suck. Yeah. I really or like the right, I think yeah, we're going to end the session really here good. because everyone seems to be a little unfocused. Oh. Oh, okay. I think it's time. Okay, it might be time. Yeah. I feel like we're going to do the stopping point. Also, Baldrick, why the fuck are you just at you? Because it's so difficult. Yep. <laughs> God damn it. Get better. I'm like, how did you fail a constitution?